I 100% meant it. Okay. It's good. Well, you're still writing something. I don't know. You're writing something cryptic. I don't know what it is. I No. I'm is it a note? I, notes. Please help it me look, get, helps, get out. It oh. helps me look real serious that people are here right at the beginning. Keith's writing things down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's not even paying attention. He doesn't yes. even care. That's how flippant. That's how, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's how, how flippant that's we are. That's how uh, uh, above it all I am. I, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just making a quick note. Good a evening. It is again another Thursday. It is time for more live beverage uh, conversation, podcasting, all that kind of stuff. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are, And of I course, do care. I really do. You do. I swear I That's care. I'm taking detailed notes. <laughs> is that what it is? That's it. Detailed notes. 100% super detailed notes. Uh, yeah. We're going to do some uh, beverage podcasting like we always do on a Thursday evening. Talk uh, a lot of different things. Probably some, uh, there's probably been some news this week that'll randomly come up. Uh, maybe some sports, some maybe sports, some probably, uh, yeah. music kind of stuff. Uh, maybe some team fight tactics or team fortress or something. There's something with a TFT. Yeah, There's a TFT. Yeah, I don't know could, what the. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that. Get out of the way right now. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh God, I was ready to hit the button. <laughs> Introvert, how's it going? Good to see you. How are you this fine evening? Uh, three cheers to you. Three cheers to you. I think I just got that. Is that actually what you're going for this whole time? Three cheers. Three cheers. It's literally three cheers. Three right cheers there. to us. I like it. Three cheers. Just to just to me. Just no. That's right. <laughs> wow. To this guy. Oh man. So how was your week? Anything? Uh, anything exciting? Anything uh, of interest? Uh, uh, I had all right. To have that's the, the show for this week. Uh, Thanks, guys. I appreciate Thanks for joining Good us. Night. We'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We go um, right into that. It was fast. Uh, so uh, Monday, we ordered uh, some food. Okay. To, to pick up. All right. I go out to into the garage to pick it up. I hit the garage door opener button and it just goes and it gives me a little message. Something about excessive load amount. Please see user manual. I tried it again and then I looked up and one of my springs was broken. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so I couldn't uh so fortunately I couldn't leave, but fortunately we live close enough to my in-laws that I biked over to their house, <laughs> borrowed their car, and then went and picked up the, That's when you change Chipotle. it to delivery. Yeah. Uh, you change it to delivery immediately. No. You're like, uh, can you not, can you come pick that up? So that was, that was fun. But fortunately they came out the next day and fixed it. So, and I, we didn't have to go anywhere on Tuesday. So that was good. Oh, that's even better. Pocket works from home and I didn't have anything going on. So just stayed at home and, uh, and put uh, windows 10 on a 10 year old computer. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And you said, yeah, after a little while that did go mildly successfully. Yeah, there was <laughs> success. No, I, I like those kinds of, challenges and there wasn't anything really it's not like i if for some reason it had gone horribly wrong it was okay because i had everything backed up we were good so but it didn't go horribly wrong it went mm -hmm. it went oh so right so, <laughs> yeah so now you have a 10 year old computer i have function. a 10 year old computer yes so and that processor okay and yeah just using that for some and maybe and maybe tft okay yeah we're gonna see how, how that at least you know because the laptop i'm using it does that little glitch out thing with the well, oh it yeah, yeah, yeah! Freezes up for like seven or eight seconds. So, are you going to be switching, getting a different monitor? Because you were even mentioning it right before pre-show, even before we started, that your monitor currently is a four by three. Oh, for that, yeah, <laughs> no, I would bring out the uh, yeah, it is that. <laughs> okay. No, I would bring out the I would bring the the recently refurbished uh, old computer and take it out to the front. Oh, okay, All but right. that's the other just that now that brings in the fact I need a keyboard and I'm going to need speakers mm. and so you know. It's, but it's it's there and it's ready to go, or we'll just get a new computer and then fix the other one. So, so anyway, I still got to get you a picture of that because the information yes. I gave you was not enough. No, like I said, yeah, okay. at least like I said, just would need to either see the board itself or if we could at least look up the board. I mean, maybe if we had the, I don't know, did that actually have the serial number on the side or not the serial number, but the like model number? I yeah. guess we could have maybe looked that. that up. It might have said. Yeah. What was in there? I don't know. Maybe some. Sometimes those ones, like the pre-built stuff, like it's not as specific to what is actually on those boards and what's not. But, yeah. But anyway, um, well, while we're talking here, we probably should uh, not necessarily podcast on something, but we should, you know, crack open a beverage. Right. Having Let's something. Quench our thirst. Uh, you've uh, brought something to the tasting table here, and uh, I've got a picture right there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful graphic. It's, it's cool graphic. I like that too. Taste for Adventure IPA from Pizza Port. Pizza Port's one of those breweries we like some of their stuff, and sometimes we're like. It's okay. I was just going to say Pizza Port is one of those like places for me that I'm always interested in trying their things. Absolutely. And I'm usually always just a touch let down. Yeah. Like not like, like I'm not disgusted. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're just like we nice. Just, we just want yeah. to be, uh, you know, I guess maybe overwhelmed a little bit or at least whelmed. 
whelmed. We don't want to be underwhelmed. We don't want to be overwhelmed. We just like to be whelmed. Just whelmed, period, would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the thing. Like, yeah, because if I say, like, oh, I got something from Drecker, you'd be like, oh, oh yeah. what do you have from Drecker? Bro? Like, you know, I say, oh, I got some piece from, oh, what'd you get? <laughs> that's, <laughs> those, that's the difference in conversation. Uh, but yeah, when you uh, showed this one, I think this is probably what? It's got to be seasonal, I'm guessing? Yeah, it is uh, January through March, I think it said. Okay. So while we sip on this, uh, Pocket had a question the other day. Are there any, what breweries do we know of that are known mostly for sours? There really aren't. Uh, Cascade. Oh, the brewery. Oh, Cascade. The yes. brewery is like this barrel and aged and yeah, sours. Like true. I think, like yeah. okay. I think of them for both. Uh, but Cascade, Cascade specifically for sours is probably the first one I think of. I forgot about um, Cascade. And I guess, um, uh, you know, and then kind of a little bit of both is, is Russian River. Yeah. You, I guess you might think of them a little bit more because of their Pliny the Elder, uh, but their sours are pretty amazing. I mean, you think about the consecration and the, all those, um, I'm trying to think of what else, I guess, um, Hmm. I'm trying to think of who else I think of when I think of, yeah, no, that's the Cascades, Cascades. a good one. Boy, we. They used to have some really good stuff. Yeah, they still do. I, I think, I believe we follow them on Twitter, uh, like I said, and you can follow us on Twitter if you'd like. And Eric, um, you bought a case that one time and shared a few with us? Yeah, that yeah. was what we did. Actually, that's a podcast. If you go back in the back archives, the archives yeah. uh, and you want to check out, that was when we, well, and we actually do have enough room. We just have not, due to COVID, we haven't wanted to bring someone else in here for right. part of the reason. Uh, but yeah, we actually have the equipment. We could have a third person in here, and we used to a few times. Like I said, Eric was in here. We had our wives in here for some podcasts. Right. Uh, so yeah, you can go to the archives and find those or you can go to youtube subscribe there as well uh and check that stuff out but uh but yeah cascade i'm trying to think of who else like i immediately think of for sours this is probably the initial two other than ones that just happen to do them well now um, like drecker they do a lot of sours yeah drecker does some sours um uh why can't i think of the name there's um Oh, uh, Almanac. Almanac is oh, another one that a lot yeah. of sours from them. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like I said, they do barrel aged things as well. They do IPAs, but I think of a lot. Usually when I think of them, that is one that I also think of specifically for sour beers. Because uh, actually, like their sours, their IPAs are okay. Mm -hmm. I like their sour stuff better. You're right. Yeah, no, that's a good call. Almanac. Very good. I'm a fire tonight. Usually my brain's not clicking on this many that was, cylinders. That was good. You're I ready. Know. It's almost like I'd asked you beforehand, which I, I didn't. <laughs> Wait, I wish you had. I, didn't. I could have been even more ready. Um, so this beer is brewed to showcase amazing experimental hops. Uh, Sabro, which I've actually had in a few different beers. Pueblo Vita has had that in there a few times. Not that I could like pick it out of a tasting lineup of sorts, but I've heard it and I've seen it in beers that I've right. had. Um, the other ones, here you go. These are always good. And HBC 586. That means a lot. Of, anytime a new hop comes in, a new variety, a new... Uh, creation uh it comes in it always has some weird name like that it does not have like some cool name when it starts out like everything has started out with these weird it names has to earn its stripes uh, I, guess. I guess kind of yeah okay. uh i don't want to read that okay okay they also use simcoe and, and crystal and, uh, crystal okay right all right that makes me feel a little better about what i'm tasting when i saw those two in there because i don't know did you see the other things that are supposed to come from those first hops in my initial sip, I did no. not get those. No, no. I, I'm supposed to be getting a coconut, sandalwood, and citrus, and pineapple, melon, and berry. No, I don't get none of those. No. I get the grapefruit that it says you should get from the Simcoe and the Crystal. That's what I was going to say. That's, That's that why kinda, I went, that puckery sort right. of, that grapefruity pinch. Yeah. When I saw Simcoe and Crystal, I was, I was like, oh, grapefruit. Okay, yeah. I'm like a little more toward the piney, a little bitter at the back. I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting fruits. And, and I think this is what seems to happen. Like, I think they've had several beers that we have had from them where they have talked about these other crazy fruit things which and sometimes then, i have gotten in different right. hops i never seem to get it from their beers like right. i think they really they don't do the uh modern times stone like really flowery over the top description but it seems like what description they do come up with is still like a little bit too subtle so, yeah for even my too palate much. which i feel is mildly good like, right uh that's what i always think is kind of funny about that is i just don't understand um yeah there's a little bit uh Simcoe and Crystal. They're saying there, yeah, there's too many things in there. Unless all of those things come together and cancel each other out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. They're all fighting for supremacy. <laughs> They've all... They all lost. They all lost. They all and lost. the grapefruit is what comes through. The grapefruit is the last man standing on the battlefield yeah. with his sword held high in the air. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. But I mean, I always like to try stuff from them just, you know, because... I, I mean, I, I was actually at the that brewery, at the, the, the pizza place, uh, the one in uh, Wait. Carlsbad, no, Ocean. 
maybe pineapple? <laughs> well, I just took that sip and I got a little bit of like fruit and I was like, okay, what can I give them that's on this list? <laughs> and I was like, cause it, melon is always a little bit too, like sometimes I do get that, but like that is definitely a very like kind of low, fl- but yeah, there was something in the middle. I was like, okay, I'm like, maybe. See, to me, if you want to taste pineapple and like they also mentioned coconut in there, I don't, I, mean, I don't really know what sandalwood tastes like. There's a- Tiny bit of coconut. Oh, do you get like a little bit as I let that really sit? In I, you were, I saw you working it there. You're, I was. Keith, that beer spent less time in the can. That's right. <laughs> I wish I had that cute. If I could have brought that up right there, <laughs> Niles. Oh, please, please, Niles. Niles. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, so, if you really want coconut and pineapple, and you're in Southern Arizona, that beer that I had like two weeks or last week that we well it was during the Super Bowl, but then we talked about it last week. Um, from Pueblo Vida, that Calypso or Kaleido Cal- or something like that. or There was the Plexus. No. Not that one. It was something with a C. Okay. Anyway, that beer. Go to our Untapped. <laughs> Follow, search for About Beverages. You'll find a lot of places we are. Uh, like I said, but yeah, if you go to Untapped, and I talked about that, that one was supposed to be like tropical and coconut, and it literally was those things. Like, I got the coconut. I got like pineapple. Like, I, uh, yeah, they usually do pretty good with, with their flavors that they're a little bit more pronounced, I guess. I had yeah. one from them called Arita. Okay. A R I T A. It was a really cool can too. It reminded me of like, I don't know, something I would have seen in Kung Fu Panda. Some of that pretty artwork, you know, oh, like okay. with the flowers and the you know the palaces in the the Orient. Kind of Asian inspired yeah. design. Okay. That's that's what it reminded me of. But that was very good too. I mean, it was and that's I don't know, that was just a pale ale or an IPA. But man, it was it was really good. I you know it's kind of funny now with the money that I'm spending on sours and some of the other beers. Pueblo Vito's prices don't seem so high anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they, Especially yeah. sours, they're like, hey, Zaku, how's it going? How are you, sir? Spending, <laughs> Thank you for the merch command. I appreciate it. Spending, you know, low fours for something now, I'm like, mm, good value. Okay. Because, yeah. you know, I'm getting into the sixes and approaching the sevens with some of these, yeah. uh, these Drecker sours and things like that, which are, I bought, I had another one of those, I which one it was, but I, I liked it a little bit better this time. Um, but it's, it's, so good yeah yeah well, so it's delicious. kind of nice now like i said i i think it's cool that you've actually like at least uh pockets kind of moved into there a little bit and is yeah. interested oh, so yeah. then so then you, i think that also helps with the guilt factor like sometimes too when uh, your significant other also wants to share in that right that's, that's why i knew when like when i came back with uh, well one of the featured beverages will have layer and i had bought later and i'd bought that weller supply even though it was like an amazing deal i still felt a little guilty but when i walked in she's like oh my god that's great i was like oh thank how much <laughs> still, uh, and how much was that again for that the you bottle said, yeah uh it's it was uh 40 is basically 47 dollars and it's two over two bottles two and a quarter bottles okay well if you wanted to get rid of another one uh, you know todd might buy one. <laughs> yeah. I, I told him i said uh key i said you know if i find another you one like, get no. in on that <clears throat> get it on the uh on the the people that andrew calls the alerts that was i mean <laughs> that's me like i literally go to that place which i will not mention i go to this large store but i it, they randomly have some of these good things like that was where right. it had come out uh and like I said so now i just go there usually at least once a week if not twice i walk into there fully masked up and run to the back look in this one area look in that area and then i run out of the store as quickly as possible uh and uh, finally after a solid two and a half months of like going there at least once a week. Like I finally was rewarded with something. So <laughs> I felt good. I couldn't believe it. And I almost missed out on the reward, but we'll talk about that later. It was, uh, it was, it was close. I almost didn't even see it there. Uh, this is good. It's fine. It's, I, I don't know if I liked, like, so they even say that their yeast gives it a dry, crisp, clean finish. Uh, it might be a little too dry for me. And I just had a bunch of water. <laughs> like, and it's still like, I feel like it's definitely I feel leaves that, that heavy on the sort of towards the yeah. back. Not heavy, but that, Seven percent that dry. There's a dry on the uh, back. It doesn't say how many IBUs, but it's 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 not like overly bitter, but it's a little bitter at the back. Yeah, like I think that's where I'm getting that dry, a little dry bitter back there. Oh, speaking of secrets that I found though, it was great. And uh, <laughs> I was organizing the closet a little bit the other day, and I found a beer that I had had hidden from my wife. <laughs> Oh wow! I didn't she know knows it. about it now. Well, I put it in the fridge because I was oh, like, oh, okay. I find it. it was it was one of the 120 minute IPAs. You oh. remember from like a couple of years ago when all of a sudden I bought like three or four, oh, yeah. and then all of a sudden she had like two two days in a row. I was like, I can't find no. these. These are expensive, and I can't find these. And she's like, but they're so good. It's like I don't give a shit. It's mine. <laughs> Which is not a good thing to say to your wife. It's mine. I don't give a shit. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Uh, but yeah, so I had hidden a few of them in there, and I knew it. And 
I think I had a couple times thought there was one like back there. I had like a little, and then I had a hat on top of it. It was like a very, it wasn't like it was like a Fort Knox in there. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, all of a sudden I was moving. Things. I was like, do I still, I was like, oh, I do. I'm like, ah, I'm just going to go put it in there. Cause I think it did say it's from 2018. It'll be heading toward that, that barley wine sweetness kind of thing. Yeah. Which I don't mind those, as much. Yeah. I, I do like it even when they're fresh. Like, so when you can find the 120 minutes, but I would like to find some more that I should start looking for those. Cause I've, I'll let you I've know. kind of been in the mood for that. Yeah. If you happen to see any, yeah. I'll probably do a tap and bottle run tomorrow. I'm feeling, like I said, I'm kind of low on, I'm getting, I feel like Pete Herman. I'm low on my supplies <laughs> going into the magic shop. Got to stock up on a few things, yep. uh, but I got to look there and maybe depending on what our, how our, one of our other featured beverages is, maybe I'll even get one of those. Yeah, because uh, I saw they did still have them there, but uh, but yeah, yeah. This is this is good. This is kind of what I get out of Pizza Port. Like they always yeah. kind of like good, but they kind of let me down. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't. You know, yeah. It's, I well, it's funny. Yesterday, I when I was stocking this, it just came in, and a can came loose from the the pack, the six pack, and it fell on the ground, and it didn't break, but it was way too dented to sell. So I popped it and I dumped it, and I was like, you know, through my mask, I'm trying to smell it. <laughs> Because I'm thinking, what is it? I thought it smelled really good. This doesn't have that, and I don't know. I didn't look. I there's doubt. a little. There's something there, but I thought it I smelled. It's canned little, six weeks ago. Like that's, yeah, that's fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I just I thought IPA it had you more should aroma. easily IPA you should feel pretty good about three months. Like I honestly feel pretty confident in that. Like I said, you know that 75 to 90 day window that should be pretty optimal for as long as it was shelved well and not like left out in right. the sun or something like that. Like it should be pretty good. Um. But yeah, oh, I had this week too. I need to untap about it. I gotta, I gotta start getting better with that. Like when I have something, uh, when I'm streaming or whatever throughout the week, uh, I need to make sure that I, if when I have a beard, especially when it's good, like to actually, you know, to log that on there. And I forgot to, but uh, the Breakside Brewing, uh, I had their. I don't know if I, people may have even seen well, that Breakside's on Twitter. Breakside's good. Yeah, I like. I really do like Breakside. We've only done like one podcast of their beers, which I think is a travesty. We need to try some of their other stuff. We on did a the one that t- it tastes like vinyl. It tastes like vinyl sounds. I think that was the one, yeah, because I, I looked and I saw the pictures. Then I was like, oh, we had that one. And then there was one I had, t- I had like tall We may have opened IPA. with something else, but not podcasted okay. on it kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but the one, yeah, the one I had was the, uh, and I, what made me think of it was when Saku came in a chat, uh, was the salted caramel stout. Oh, okay. If I've had that. It's delicious. Because we've had different, like, like uh, H&J had a, mm-hmm. like, there was that whatever the one that was like with gin or lime or yeah, whatever, uh-huh. that's good. Yeah. Um, I've had their, they have a kettle sour that's a passion fruit. That one's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, so the light blue label yeah. with the flower on it. Yeah, yeah that one's good. Especially, There's yeah, a, ke- that's good for a kettle sour. Guy for sure. IPA, that was good. Yeah, no, they have got good, and we did the, oh, what whatever doing? their IPA was that, that the label says, it tastes like vinyl sounds. Because I think that I even brought up the turntable over that time. Yes. And we were playing some music. Yeah, so, so. here it is right here. Salted caramel stout. I've seen that. I saw I always it put all this bottle, I think. Yeah, yeah, that okay. was where they had it. Like I said, and I always have all this stuff in the Discord if you ever want to see previous featured beverages or uh, whatever, want to run down what I've had throughout the week. Um, but yeah, it was it was really good. Like I, said, I think it's not, uh, did it say? I don't think the alcohol was too high on it. I don't see it there. But yeah, it was not overly sweet. 7 2. Oh, oh, ABV. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I've, I read that as IBUs were next to it. All right, so yeah, 7 2. So it was just really good drinkable uh was just the right it was the right balance of this isn't too heavy where i feel like i only want to sip some of this uh but it didn't feel like some of the other ones lately where we're like ah, oh, this is, needs a little more heft it was a really good balance between those two it was just the right amount of that caramel sweet but then you still get a little bit of the chocolate and the coffee it's excellent I, yeah I, that's probably another one tomorrow like i'll probably grab another one of those for sure right Re- definitely would recommend i saw you had one of those um modern times the vanilla latte Yes. Black House. That, I had one of those. That was good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like that's that. kind of one of those ones that's a little toward the lighter side because it uh, almost is like of, of the stouts like I was just yes. talking about. Like it was not super heavy. Right. A little it's more like 5.8, I think. Yeah. A little more five. refreshing almost. Yeah. Uh, and But but that fits well with, like I said, they're going for the vanilla latte, you know, that, right. kind of, that right. latte kind of thing. So you get the light bit of sweet. You get the coffee in there. Uh, from you know that black house stout that they do you know that's year round uh the the combination of those two things and then into uh like i said that because i do they use lactose in there or do they use milk sugar in there too along with it the modern times yeah it didn't say on the can okay I read the can what did you think of the ghost in the machine it was very good okay and that had a little age on it that was december i think so yeah, I, no, it still had uh, it still had a like good fruit on nice, it. Like yeah. the aroma was still good. Yeah, I didn't know what was the date on that one. That one I think was twelve eighteen. 
Okay. So December. So that's, you I know. I mean, it was still very good. Like I said, I could yeah. see where that like may have had a little more punch a month prior. Right. But no, it definitely would. I may, it made me want to look, look for other stuff from the parish. Yeah. Have you had and anything they, else from them? No, but if it's still there, in fact, you can look it up at Tap and Bottle. When they had that, they had a triple that they do that I almost bought. Keith. I know it was almost, I almost got Sometimes it. Sometimes you need to think like, what would it's be like, good on a podcast? I know. And just like do that and then just have it. I was trying and to stay like, under we $30. Have? You're like, you're like, I don't know. I was trying to stay under $30 for my six pack. <laughs> you could just expense it on your taxes as beverage fund. I don't know. Oh, can we do that? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Uh, what do we say? Parish. That's it. Atticus Atlas? Yes. Well, that's a great name. Obscene amounts of Australian galaxy hop. Ooh, galaxy hops. Used to counter the amount of malt used to get this... Uh, to this high of an ABV while still keeping the bitterness down. This beer is all about aroma, super saturated. Oh, wow, what is the ABV on it? It was a f- <laughs> like a butterfly remember. on the front. Anytime I see like a butterfly or a moth, it right. sounds of the lambs. Oh, yeah. And there's scenes, I think, immediately there, sure. <laughs> uh, oh, they still have to go oh, some machine, to go some, Yeah, I'd probably grab one. What's this one? It's a coffee stout. Okay, oh. so they've got some other okay. things there we should try. Collaboration coffee staff between the Parish Brewing Company and, oh, coffee. Oh, that's that coffee roaster. Okay. Greetings from Wynwood. What is that? Steve. Oh, it's a Berliner Weiss. Ooh, guava and coconut. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Fit for a day of beachfront debauchery. Oh, I hope to see a beach this year. <laughs> and couple- some debauchery? That depends on what, <laughs> depends on what my wife says. <laughs> We should go debauching. Yeah. <laughs> is that the technical term? I think the technical term is debauching. Debauching. Uh, here we go, debauching along the <laughs> leaves of green. green. Yeah. Uh, it's debauching. <laughs> yeah, it's more so. It's more so. I have not watched that in several years. Yeah, we haven't watched that either. I don't know if I have that rec- recorded somewhere. I have, it on, I have it on DVD, I think. Oh, nice. Was that Claymation Christmas? Claymation Christmas. And the it had Carol like an Easter. It had an Easter Three and maybe a Halloween special on it. And I, th- I think Ben and I started watching one of them once and we were like, oh, this is weird. And we didn't watch, <laughs> we didn't watch it. <laughs> one of them. I can't remember which one. That guy just died last year, I think. Uh, Keith, they're Claymation figures. I don't think they actually live. Oh. Unless it's Westworld. Dang. Will Vinton. Oh, the guy, the guy that actually did it. Yes. Got it. The guy who created the claymation, the California Raisins. California Raisins. That's how the one guy says that. Isn't it? <laughs> that singing the, the sensation. Calif- the Californians. Yeah. Oh, yeah, at the end. Yeah. Star of wonder, star of life. That's the first one. Do do. Oh, do they do two songs? They, no, they don't sing that one. Oh, they don't? The California Raisins do the... Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer at the end. Oh, that's right. Hey, man. Call me a cab. Hey, you're a cab. Hey, you're a cab. (laughs) Picking the stream beat. Yeah, I was looking at that and I was trying to just, oh, man. Ah, Pizza Port. And Pizza Port also just makes me think of when we've done, uh, we used to get to do our beer fest. That does not happen anymore or is not around because they like were there a couple times. Oh, yeah. Pizza Port Brewing. Okay. They also let me down with that, uh, the eggs one, the bright bacon. See, have you revisited it since that first time? No. Revisit it. Because actually, that is one I do like. Really? I have, I have bought it. We actually had that uh, at the store over Bacon the last and eggs, few that's what it's called. Right. Because, because there was no smokiness well, and there was and no that, bacon. And, and they were just going for breakfast. Yeah. And so like, coffee porter. Yeah. And I totally get why you thought it should have had. And <laughs> that would have been great. I actually. was hoping for like a coffee smoke porter. I don't know where the eggs part would have come in, but no, I do think it, I do think they, <laughs> there's that been some would floating have been on the top. Great opportunity. In fact, maybe that could be like a special one they do to, to put a smokiness in there to kind of make you think yeah. of that. But with reset, but like it's, okay. it's a good coffee porter. Okay. I, I, I enjoyed it. It was, I, we had it a few times over the last four months at the store and I probably bought two or three cans, I think, and just, you know, had one every, you know, every couple of weeks and I, I enjoyed it. Oh, wow. So you've had that um, many of them. Two or three cans. Yeah. Yeah. I just bought singles here and there. Oh. I'm like, I'm going to move for one of these this week. Oh, okay. So no, that's, yeah. I'm, that's surprising. So okay. I would, I would, but I, I would revisit just based on, and you might think the same thing. Nope. Still not a fan. <laughs> still, but still no that's bacon. Probably the best. Pizza Port beer that I've had. Okay. 
recently. There was the one we liked that was the In the Pit, I think, maybe. Maybe we did do a podcast on that one, and I think we may have liked that one, but... In the Pit? In, I think it was called In the Pit. Oh, maybe. The only other one I can think of from them that we liked, there was that collaboration beer, wasn't it, with them and La Cumbra and Modern Times? They, they did one with Modern Times, and it with the Pac-Man thing on it. Yeah, I'm thinking of the one, and it was like had an Old good. West like theme oh, to yeah. it. Wasn't yeah. it like... Were they a part of that? That one I, I think was good. Yeah. Oops. Call of the Wild. I think that was it, right? It came up. Uh... On it. That's weird that none of those things are coming up. But that was funny. That look. I was not. We did just... a podcast on it though. Just... I think we did. It's a boot. <laughs> it's a boot. It was funny. I searched for something the other day. I don't know if I was looking for a picture or what I was looking for. And we were like, the third thing down was one of our photos from us. So I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what it was. It was obviously it was some beer or something like that. Um, let's just look up. Look, um, Big West. Big West. This okay. is, at least this is the one I was thinking of. Was yeah, this one with the horse on? Oh, look at Phil. There's Phil. Let's see if that link is it. Oh, I did untapped. Uh, Pizza Port Brewing Company, Modern Times, and then La Cumbra. Okay, okay, so that was 9.2%. Yeah, that one was good. But I think that was helped. And I think we may have even said, if we go back to the podcast right now, I bet you I say, I think this beer, I think uh, Pizza Port got some help up with modern from Modern Times. They were, the, the rising the tide Cum lifts all boats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. La Cumbra and Modern Times uh, were the rising tide. Lifting elbows. Oh, I feel bad. I should, I'm going to go to Pizza Port's website right now and see if they have a yearly beer that I've been... I feel uh, like we I, may have done the In I've, the Pit for a podcast. I'm I feel sure. like I have sadly bashed them way too much this evening. And I did not mean to do that. But like I said, it's, again, it's, if, if you can find this and this is the best you can find, cans. Just, can, can you just show me? There we go. Year round. California Honey Sippa. Oh, I think I've had the Swami's IPA. That's one of their and Kook, the chronic, I think. Kook double IPA. We had the, the Kook. Chronic. I brought that over, I think. Oh, we liked. Um, well, we've actually done a lot. I know of, of pizza port beers. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Surfari IPA, but I, I think that was a little lighter. Mm -hmm. um, pizza port brewing Admiral Denali. I think that's one I brought over in a crowler when I brought pizza over a couple night a couple years ago. Oh, okay. And then the sidewalk surfing. That's one. Uh, safari sidewalk surfing. I mean, we didn't do the in the pit for a podcast. So the next one is March through May. It is their outdoor escape IPA. Light bodied and finishing dry IPA. Subtle green bill, flaked rise. Oh, flaked rise, as well as malted oats from friends at Aaron Maltings. And say what? Oh, not saying what uh, hops are being used in that one. So that's like their next one. Wow, seven point two percent again. That seems to be a thing. And the um, seven percent. So uh, Todd was talking about the the blackened. Oh, the bacon and eggs is seasonal. Yes. Oh, okay. I did not know that. For some reason, I thought that was year round. The blackened uh, whiskey. Yes. We like that, right? Yes. That was good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's one of those things. Like, it's fifty bucks. So you're paying, right. for, you're paying for Metallica. Right. You're paying for the Dave, playlist. You're paying for the okay. playlist. You're paying for Dave Pickerel. Like I said, you know, whistle pig, you know, master distiller, previous, well, rest in peace, mm. uh, master distiller and stuff like that. So you're paying for a lot of those names. Right. Uh, and I, I think it's very good. It's a little on the thinner side. It is more of like a classic whiskey, but I think there's some good flavors in there. I've, and I've enjoyed, like I said, the bottles I have when I, whenever I finish, like I said, cause I bought, well, at the time I wound up having three. Because they wound up sending you an extra bottle, right? I tried to buy two. Yeah, I, I wound up getting three. I tried to buy two of a very specific playlist that I liked because one person actually had it. This is when it was hard to find two years ago, a year and a half ago. Um, 
at least in Arizona, it was hard to find. And I bought, like I said, I tried to buy that and then they sent me the wrong batch ones. So then I like just, you know, I was very, I was, I was like, yeah, I said, well, I was looking for this one. You said you had it. I'm, and I was like, how do I send these back? And I think then they did not want to have to deal with that. So they're like, we found one bottle of the other. Can we just send that one to you and you keep all three and we don't charge you for the other? I was like, yes, you may do that. You can do that. <laughs> so, yeah. So I've, so I've had three. So I think I'm on the last bottle after that amount of time. And I would probably get another one again. You know, I would probably start looking. They, and they have it at the place where I found the Weller. Like consistently. <laughs> the place. The place. Yeah. The like place. So they don't need any more advertising. Uh yeah, they have it like the they place. have it there. Like, and it's a little more common now. Like, I've seen it. I think they have it at Total Wine and 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 things like that. They've had. I almost bought a bottle of. You were ahead of the curve, though. I was a little bit, especially yeah. for Arizona. You and were it's on top of it. And it's funny. The last, well, the last time, time or two ago, when I was at Total Wine, well, not the last time because we picked out stuff. So the time before that, when I was at Total Wine, I just happened to be there, and they had gotten in uh, one of the new. They did one that was with the playlist from when they did the symphony orchestra with the San Francisco Symphony oh, Orchestra. Okay. So they did one, and I was almost gonna get that one, but it had even a little more of a premium. It was in a neater box, and they did a. Little, and I almost got. And I was and like literally just as I picked it up, someone was walking over there with someone from total wine and, and they're like yeah i think the metallica one and he, i was like oh it's right here and he's like oh thanks he's like hey have you had this one before and i started talking to him about it and i was, was like i haven't like i did a podcast on it and, this, and he's like oh really he's like well, what else is good like he's like i don't really drink whiskey but it's for my friend and he kind of likes it i was like all right well he might like this so it turned into one of those kind of situations and then after he had walked away i put the bottle because <laughs> i had it in my hands so i think then he's like well he's getting one i'll get one. Oh wow well. <laughs> I'd already you're had, just you're just like a, a placement there. They, they use to, I'm a plant to, to sell, yeah, to sell more, <laughs> yeah. sell more stuff, sell more blackened whiskey. But yeah, I, um, have you heard of some uh, of a bear? That, I mean, I'm gonna backtrack on this. So okay. uh, last week, week and a half ago, customer was asking about. Um, he was wanting to buy. He wanted to know how much of this particular scotch we have. We've got these two scotches at work. One's seventeen and one's twenty. One's called Lismore and the other's called Finlagen. And they both sell, especially lately, have been selling very well. And the this guy. Do you a, think it's because of the price? It, well, I'm sure it has to do with the price. Okay. Um, but I remember even Fitz saying I, when initially when I was learning about some of the Trader Joe's spirits, who he I talked trust? about one of them. Yeah. And he's like, "This is actually pretty good." I can't remember which one it was, but. One of those two, but so this guy was talking about, um, oh, hello, Baker. Hey, Baker, how's it going? <laughs> Did not get an alert from Twitch, so I just checked out, and here I got, it's fine. We're just working on our first beer. It's fine. And uh, so he was saying that he, the, the $17 one, lists more. He's like, I like this. He's like, and he was saying that somebody had given him a barrel that you can pour X amount of bottles of scotch in and age it more. Have you ever heard of anything like that? And, and he was saying, yeah, supposedly you can take a, I, I could be wrong in my Oh, God damn it. It's one of these again. Go on. I know uh, that you can take, you know, this many year and turn it into a this many year and so many months. And I was like, okay. And I was like, I, I, I don't quite understand the science of that. And, I, no. and now we know places that like Duncan Taylor and they take already made scotch and then they, they, they you know, finish it their own way yeah so things can be done I so know. duncan taylor so, will actually like from what i understand duncan taylor does i don't know if they actually i don't know if they actually wind up getting removed uh or if it's similar situation to like what like you know, we were talking about actually before the show started with batch uh, a local whiskey uh, shop here in town or, or like I said tap and bottle with their westbound did where they go to the distillery they pick out a barrel that they like like they get to select a barrel and then they buy that barrel um i'm not sure how duncan taylor works but i do know what they do like they make something that is unique that you cannot find find right from that and and that's usually by either aging it longer and on top of that they usually keep it at a higher proof not quite barrel proof but usually at a higher proof for okay. sure um so that's i think what they wind up doing like i said with the with the other one the other two i just mentioned here the places locally usually it's just them picking and selecting a certain flavor profile they like and then they take that barrel okay. and then they're you know they're uh watered down to whatever they should be you know whatever proof they normally should be like with buffalo trace it's usually that 90 proof they kind of get it down to or uh and that type of thing but i have never heard of that not saying it can't yeah not saying it can't be done like i said anything where time is being sped up it's probably not going to be as good and it's always like you're it's like what we always used to say about cold brew uh, when it came to coffee and things like that it was like you're trying to like originally it was done because people were like i don't like the sour of this coffee it's like well you're buying bad coffee Right. And that then you are trying to make taste better. So that you're probably right. buying something that like 
you don't want to pay for the time and work that's involved like that it's you know the reason these things are so expensive is a they're hard to find and then b it's it's because like i said time is very expensive if you have to have something that sits there in ages and is taking up warehouse space and manpower to make sure it doesn't go bad and is turned and moved and all that stuff like that's why like things are so expensive i always think it's funny when i've seen people like how is that that can't be that it's like do you know what the manpower it takes to like have something that doesn't just kick out like if something can kick out the door in a year or two well, then that's different um but yeah that's it's possible did Ranging from thirty to one hundred dollars, the home whiskey aging barrel is a hugely popular gift around Father's Day, Christmas, and wedding season. Okay. The idea behind one is simple: you fill it with the whiskey of your choosing, and it ages far faster than it would in industry standard barrels. So it must be what's that, how much does it hold? Like, because then that that almost plays into like the Lafroy how they do the quarter cask. They have that smaller cask, so more of the spirit is in contact with the wood, so you're leaching out more, so you're getting right. more. In. So there's a little bit of that, and then uh, does that barrel like automatically turn? I wonder, yeah, I like, so know. that it's constantly getting like new things to absorb. Huh. Make your own one is barrel mm-hmm. Do they have a link to like this is buy one, or that maybe the article has a link that you just saw? Because I wonder if that actually then says freedom uh, oak barrels. Freedom isn't free. Not really. Good Lord. All kinds of pop-ups coming up here. That's a sign of a good website. It's great for whiskey. That's what I just clicked on. Okay, I thought that's what you said. That's what I saw. Personalized American Oak Aging, $55. So they have one. So the cheapest one, it holds a liter. Nope. Oh, and then you can get your name on it and stuff so you can make it look. That's kind of funny. Does it say? Yeah, you got your little personalized Oprah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, th- he bought. I don't think he needed two cases. He was buying two cases. Um, oh, okay. I he said something like 20, bar- 20 bottles or something like that, but. So anyway, I, th- I, was, huh. I was just wondering if that was anything you'd ever heard of, but um, I'm actually kind of intrigued, like I said, with the way those, I, I should ask Fitz next time I talk to him if there was one of those he recommended, because hmm. that might be one to, one of those to try one of those. One, like, so one's 17 and the other's 20. So, and they're both mm. selling very well. I think it's cute, like as a thing to like look at. Yeah, like it's a cute little barrel it's right. on a stand. It looks like one of those things, but it's like a cute I, little barrel. Yeah, but it's an oak aging barrel. We wish we could have bought two to three smaller barrels. We bought a five liter so we could do a different alcohol variation. Interesting. Oh, that's right. They said some of the barrels are tequila. Some are different. Yeah. Huh. Mike's bourbon. Paul's magic. So far, so good. Bourbon's at this time for three months. Just follow the instructions. Can't wait to... Huh. That seems... I don't know. Probably do some experimenting in the HJ laboratories. Maybe. Maybe that... I mean, maybe that's a podcast series right there. (laughs) Buy one of those and, like, just have it, like... Like, every month we check in on it and, like, taste it or something. (laughs) It just sits back here overlooking us yeah oh, okay. how's the barrel doing we could, have right we could have that well i've got cameras that we're not using we have the barrel cam <laughs> just like everyone's off people want to use channel points to like check out the barrel how's the cam. barrel look oh the barrel looks good yeah no so we can have like a timer like everyone saw they could that could be a thing people could pay for us to like have to taste a little bit of it to see where it's at <laughs> like you can only do it like you can only do it like once a show or something get to the end there's nothing left huh i don't know i wonder what they recommend like putting in there like would you buy something that's bullet like you try and buy something that's like probably as bland as po- not that bullets bland but like something is kind of even as possible yeah. to actually see what you're getting back out of that right. what huh right hmm. interesting did he actually buy those uh, amount of cases that he was looking for they they're on hold at the so he must have put in a special because i told him i said we can order i said so just let me know what you need you know a couple of days in advance and i said there's 12 in a case but if you don't need two cases we can just sell you 20 or whatever so but yeah he's like no i'll take two no, they're on hold so yeah you never know 
That is a Who very knows? interesting. All right, let's uh, go grab the uh, first beverage of the evening that we're going to podcast on. Let's uh, take a quick break. We'll uh, wash out our glasses, go grab that, and uh, you guys can continue to listen to some of the soothing sounds of Harris Heller here. And by soothing, I mean Synthwave. Synthwave, yeah. Stream Beats. Stream Beats. Harris he, is here. I thought he actually had his new album out today, and I did not see it here in the playlist, so I was a little bummed. I actually want to check Twitter right now because I thought he was supposed to have his new one out today. The rockin', the rockin' business. Oh, that's not no, not 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 Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I should probably type in a little more now since we have. There we go. Uh, no, that's that one. New album comes out. Oh, tomorrow. Damn it, Harris. The 19th? <laughs> I could have sworn it was the 18th. Did you see the good news? Or not the good news. Did you see yesterday? Uh, it was uh, Michael Jordan's birthday. I, I was told that, yes. Michael Jordan's birthday and the, yeah. and, uh, the Cubs have signed Jake Arrieta. I saw that, that he was actually going to come back. I heard talk of a six-man rotation. That's possible, yeah, I guess. But you know, figure if he goes like 12 and 10 with an ERA in the high threes, that's a win. Or, you know, and, and, you know, choose up some innings. Okay. Anything more than that, I think, is a bonus. And 12 and 10 may actually even be a little bit high, considering the last three years he, he made his $75 million over three and then and did not. Uh, well, you know, he's, he's 35 now. But even that, that, that 2017, although it's funny, I had been thinking of this, and then I read it yesterday in a Cubs article. Yeah. He is the, la- he is the last pitcher to win a playoff game for the Cubs. That's true because of uh, starting pitcher, because of the yeah. foolishness in Game Seven where Hendricks should have kept pitching probably. Well, no, he no the World Series no, but so oh. the following year in two in two thousand seventeen. Oh, they got they that's lost true. four out of we five to the watched, Dodgers. That's but right. He, he won game four. Oh, that's right. Uh, so okay. he is, and they haven't won anything since then. Yeah, I was thinking World Series. Okay, so yeah, yeah. he's the last person to win wow. a playoff game for the Cubs. So, so what is our rotation going to be? Arietta Hendricks, of, yeah. Uh, Reda Hendricks, uh, Davies, who they got in the Darvish trade. Okay. We're talking about Alec Mills, the guy who threw the no-hitter last year. Um, they signed another guy who was somebody from the kind of a pirate. It's going to be a kind of a ragtag group. Okay. And maybe one of their, um, uh, their guys, the Azale, uh, Adbert Azale, I think is his name. He's a, uh, he pitched a little bit the last couple of years. So, yeah, it's going to be, could be, uh, I don't know, this season could be a little... Oh, shall we say ugly? Uh, <laughs> okay. Unless the offense comes around, but the bullpen could be okay. They sign. Oh, like, Strope is back. Oh, really? Yeah, Strope and Strope. He, he got a minor, yeah minor league contract. <laughs> so, oh, all right. So yeah, we'll see. All right, we're gonna grab a beverage. We'll bring it back. We'll do our first podcast of the, the evening. Angled hat Stick around. That's the angled head pitcher. <laughs> angled hat yes. pitcher. Oh, Maybe our, he's learned his lesson. <laughs> our brother after will be a couple so... of horrible years. Well, he, it's just a minor league contract, so with an invite to spring training. Okay, <laughs> with an invite. An invite. With an upstairs invite to a pre Super Bowl sex That's right. <laughs> Whatever. Oh God. Uh, all right, we'll be right back. San Francisco. Yeah, you always like that name. I do. I do. If you're going right. to San Francisco, left my heart in San Francisco. Yeah. Um. All right. We are going to do a podcast. Ooh, a podcast. Yeah. What do we do when we do a podcast? We got to take things down. We get rid of well, and we're talking about this stuff up here. Yeah, this stuff up here. Yeah. None of the others, Dave. Evening oh, to you, Pocket. Well, Good evening. Hello. See, I think I, I, I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Maybe last week was the sweet spot for times. People are popping in like right at that time, almost like when we started <laughs> last week. I think that might be the sweet spot. Uh, the uh, well, she was working late, so good. To, good to know you're done working. Maybe enjoying a little dinner. She's and like you've... watching you guys on the drive home. Wait, what? No. Yeah, on the drive home. <laughs> what? No. no. On the screen on my uh, steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, there you <laughs> go. Oh. 
Or maybe it projects right onto the, the, the windshield. <laughs> yeah, it projects out into the road. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be pretty good. That would work. I like it. Uh, but yeah, we got to take down a few things. Uh, like I said, obviously, this full uh, show now is going up on YouTube already. Uh, but we cut up these smaller little podcasts that we do. We turn them into the Give It a Shots. Those are also posted on YouTube. And uh, we still do a little bit of the uh, cleaner, old school, slick look for that. Uh, if you only want that information, don't want the full live show. But I, I think uh, it seems like I've been getting a decent response here and there from uh, people mentioning that they're like, oh, that's nice. I, you know, I missed this or that and able to go back and, and watch it. So know that those are there. If you are interested, go check Can those out. Can there be that much space on the interwebs? For all these podcasts, for all these Obviously two there hours, is. three hours, yeah. I mean, come on, for just them to just sit there. Yeah. Just, just be available. Out. They're there. always there. They're always there. Wow. Wow. Wherever there is suffering, okay. those podcasts <laughs> will be there. They'll be there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to do that. I don't even need to hit the record button anymore because we've just been recording this whole time. I actually as far remember, as you know. I remember to start recording right when we started earlier. Good. So I got all that stuff. Good. So and it's good that uh, uh, Pocket has joined us because... She may have some interest in that's what, what you we were think saying. of this beverage here. That's what you were saying. Yes. Um, I want to say, did I have a... Let's see if I have a slightly more interested web, interesting website. Maybe it's this one. Uh, sorry, just uh, checking out something here. Huh. I can't. I was trying to find out exactly how many months this is actually aged. It's four and a half percent. It just says age for so. It says. It just specifically mentions that the third fermentation, it says several months, but there was a main and secondary fermentation. It doesn't say how long. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Huh. Do you remember how much you paid for this? <laughs> it just says for many months. Uh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's, that's how um, it says it. I do. I thought I saw a four I pack was like 15 bucks. I guess I should have left. I thought it was 289. Hang on. I do have, I do have that receipt. Okay. Receipt checking. Receipt check. 289. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, because this is the same size that you get in the other one, the Duchess de Borgo. Right, that's true. Both Eleven point 11. two ounces. Yeah, so it's going to be it's interesting. It's a good can. Best before. There's nothing new. Yeah. M sixteen. M one hundred and sixteen. M I sixteen. I mean, it's it's age, so I don't. I doubt there yeah. would have to be one of those dates. Best on before. It. So you, you look at it and it says. <laughs> Don't it obviously worry. has to be less because the Duchess is usually is six dollars. I'm looking at it right now. This one's three like under three bucks. Right. So obviously it's got to be less aged, and obviously the petite. That's probably what it's referring to. Um, I have seen. I saw somewhere that this is referred to as the Bordeaux of Belgium. Uh, this says the. I thought this said the Burgundy. Burgundy. Okay. The Burgundies. The Burgundy of Belgium. Also known as the Burgundy, the Burgundies of Belgium. Interesting. Yes. Weird. All right. I need to bring over some readers next time. I almost couldn't. I almost can't read that. Getting there. Well, the black on silver is also not easy. Black on silver. And depending silver. on the angle, there's a little bit of a reflection. I appreciate you uh, helping me out there with a few excuses, but <laughs> it just is what it is. Oh, what about <laughs> back here? <laughs> like oh. Now I can. Re- I always think that's funny. Like, oh, I need. It's like it is farther way, away. Yeah, it, it, it's well, just yeah, the way your it's, eyes it's focus. Blurry. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. Maybe it's just yeah. you can't go as cross-eyed as you used to be. That's why the difference yeah, I just is. need to look like the guy from Waterboy. <laughs> I thought you were going to say uh, when you take off the glasses from, uh, from the jerk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn these glasses. Yeah. I was hypnotized. I couldn't stop staring at that thing right in the middle. Okay, I damn thee. All right. So did you have to actually rip this beer from your wife's hands to bring it over here? Or was this actually, uh, were you able to just sneak it out of the house? What was the story behind no, this? We, well, we discussed it uh, during our live stream uh, last week on twitch.tv slash about beverages. Um, but I don't think it, it may have come up one other time okay. in the last week. But no, there was, uh, there was n- nothing, uh, nothing so forceful was, was necessary here. No conversations were changed or something like that. She's like, hey, I was wondering. And you're like, oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, because that's... if Pocket says, I want to have a beer, 
<laughs> oh, I'm in the mood for the sour tonight. Entire... We're gonna what? I'm gonna say here's what I have. <laughs> it's like the party in the Red Sea. The gates open. It's just like uh, everything the is available. The door opens. To you. That's right. <laughs> oh my That's god. Right. We're gonna share. Well, thankfully, uh, it was able to make it to the tasting table. We've got a barrel aged sour for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew, and I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Duchess Petite Barrel Aged Sour Ale. Uh, and obviously, longtime uh, viewers of uh, not only our podcasts, uh, but our videos uh, up on YouTube will know that the Duchess uh, is one of our original favorite sour beers. I still go back to that one. I still buy it. Absolutely. Uh, that it was is absolutely uh, fantastic. And now we've even tried a couple different iterations of it. We tried the cherry right. sour uh, within the last uh, month or two. Uh, we tried that one, which, which we liked. I think we still like the original better. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see with this can being at a better price point. Yeah, actually, uh, this was, uh, well, it's 11.2 ounces, which is what uh, the Duchess, and we used to say, remember Duché? Because we had, yeah, we, we had heard that somewhere. Someone we, we had won't told say us that, that yeah. We, we, we just say Duchess. No. But, um, <laughs> so this was 2.89 for the can, purchased at, uh, at uh, our local tap and bottle. Um, and, uh, and I was wondering what color, okay, it, I was, for some reason, I thought it might not be that, that dark I color. thought it might be lighter as I, well. I yeah. don't know why, because the, just reading barrel aged sour ale, as opposed to Flemish, because, you know, you think of the, the Flemish red, right. has red in the name. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't exactly sure, but yeah, this is two eighty nine. whereas usually you're, you're paying what close to you're like six and a half, seven bucks for a, for their regular right. Duchess. Yeah. Um, and for that so, same size too. Uh, like I said, they, yeah. Oh, and I'm actually uh, noticing uh, since we had their website up that uh, Tap Bottle also has the chocolate cherry version, which we talked nice. about that yeah. we wanted to try. We may have to try that one on a podcast. Yeah. Just finish out the complete Duchess line uh, and try that one at some sure. point as well. But uh, but yeah, under three dollars. If this is even like close, this could be amazing. Like I'm kind of excited well, about this find. Absolutely. Uh, when you brought it up, so I'm you know yeah yeah uh, color similar, maybe not quite as dark. No, uh, I would say is uh, when you actually get the. Uh, the Duchess de Bourgogne. It's more cola or maybe iced tea, but a little bit of red in it, I think. I would say, yeah, kind of yeah. like more like a like an Assam or something like that. That yeah. always had a little red to it with, yeah, the, with the tea. Like yeah, I would definitely go iced tea. All right. So far, so good. Yeah, the aroma. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, that that's 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 good. May not may maybe missing out on a little bit of the depth, but it has that bit. initial hit of that kind of red wine vinegar that we like out of that one. Yep. Um, it, this is probably not going to sound good to people, but this always reminds me of like because of the vinegar part, like when you do uh, you know Easter eggs and you do the food coloring stuff. Oh yeah, the, like I was thinking that that diet. Like again, some people probably are like, why would you drink that? Why? But, yeah. but yeah, there is like I mean, if you make a vinaigrette or something like, so let's go into that. If you're having a salad or right. like those like those are aromas that you like, and that's what's kind of in this that I always thought was so delicious. So well, there are actually we can talk. About about this later but we have um uh, some uh, sparkling beverages now that are made with apple cider vinegar oh and there's a lemon strawberry one that i actually think we should do for a podcast oh all right I, spoiler alert i've had it it's delicious <laughs> well it sounds like we should do that one then we should but for now this is what we have in our glass so, we so we're gonna taste this I understand why it's called petite. It's literally the sentence I had in my head. <laughs> I was like, if he doesn't say anything a second, I'm going to say, I know why this is called petite. Go on. But it's still very good. Yes. It doesn't have, there's a, maybe missing a little body. It's, um, you get more of the carbonation coming through, but um, it has those classic um, Duchess notes that uh, almost cola y, um, those, the, the sour, the, 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 the um, the, that that malt vinegar kind of thing yeah malt going vinegar on. Just, yeah that's just a good dialed way. back a little bit so I but petite is a it's funny when I initially bought the can I was thinking oh because it's a small can but then you're <laughs> right it, the ounces translate to the to the to the bottle so it's not that yeah it's just it's just dialed back a bit yeah um, everything's just yeah a wow. little bit less the complexity like overall is 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 in again in the ballpark uh, you're getting like you said the malt vinegar and all that stuff um, so I don't want to retread that but yeah pulled back. Uh, I feel there's not quite as much going on on the front of my tongue when I have the, like I said, this one like kind of goes a little bit more to the back, to the middle yeah. uh, and gives you, but still very good flavors. I definitely would love having a couple of these around. Like I said, that's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, yeah, it is, it is closer than I thought it was going to be when I was seeing the price uh, and seeing some other things. I was like, ah, this is probably, you're really going to go like, yeah, I can see where this one should, and, and you can. So the question 
is it worth the other three dollars for what you get out of the other one wow and to me i would say sometimes i that's that's the right answer i think i i I would say sometimes i would still want to have that one knowing that's the better one that's the one i've been but this one at three bucks like i almost want to have like a four pack of these in the fridge and you can get like you can get a bomber of the original duchess too that's true and i don't know how cost wise that that brings it uh, you know a little bit more actually that's one of the things i was thinking lately we should start breaking our prices of beer down to we'll call it like cpo cost per ounce um, because that you almost need to with all, all these things are in the variable. Can, out, yeah. yeah, it's like what and is that, you know, well, that's, you know, that's a six dollar bottle or a six dollar can or that, you know, anyway, just that might be a little too much math, a little too much work. But yeah. no, I, I agree with you. I think, you know, you've, if to have a four pack of these on hand, because sometimes that's the, the scary part about the other Duchess is they go. They, well, even this one would, too, but they go down too easily. They're so yes. good that all yeah. of a sudden you've had, you know, and you could easily just because they're that tasty in a couple of minutes have gone through, you know, over $6 worth of beer. Right. Um, I mean, and sure. Could you do that with any beer? Yeah. Most beers. Yes. Yeah. Just, but that one is just, it's like so good. Yeah. So. I've definitely had one of those in an evening when I used to buy the four, when it used to be even a little bit cheaper, it used to be around $4 when we started drinking it. That used to be like the four and a half dollar one or $5 one. And then it went up by like pretty quickly all of a sudden because yeah. we were getting in the six packs and then for a while it was weird it was cheaper to buy it as a single like because i think they were mismarking stuff at our local total wine but anyway yeah uh easily you drink one of those and you're like i should have another it's like well, god i don't want another six dollar oh, yeah. beer it's like yeah, yeah but and this, that's good it's kind of like a i guess a financial governor as it were <laughs> it's to, a financial to, and liver uh, governor yeah. <laughs> just right, right, right to help you out <laughs> who would have restraint thought? but yeah i definitely could see uh, having uh, a few of these around at, at that price point and Absolutely. to get at least just a taste of that uh, yeah. of that goodness. Uh, and if you want to see some of the other uh, tasty goodness that we've had at some point uh, on our podcasts over the last, uh, over a decade that we've been doing this, you can go to the website at aboutbeverages.com. Uh, and if you just want the latest videos, the easiest place to go is to subscribe on YouTube. We'd appreciate it if you hit us up there, look at all the, uh, not only videos that we have done of, uh, of the tastings, but now we are putting up these full live shows. You can find them on YouTube as well if you've missed any of the whole show. Because uh, sometimes we try some other beers that don't make it into the podcast. Sometimes even the podcast, like, we have a lot of material that sometimes we kind of just goes on the back burner. So if you want to see everything we've done, that's the place to go uh, and check out all of that. Audio wise, we've got you covered. Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, iTunes, uh, any place that you happen to search for and like watching pod or listening to podcast. You're not watching podcasts. Yeah, no, don't watch listening podcast. to podcasts as you're uh, driving around or out and about. Uh, just search for about beverages. You will find us. Anything else? We're cl- we're done, right? The we're that's it. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, no, 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 no. We got uh, three pillars of social media, uh, being Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is where we do most of our uh, interacting socially. Uh, letting you know, uh, of course, when we're going to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages most Thursday nights uh, throughout the week. Andrew's going to be updating you on what he's going to be doing. We're letting you know what we're drinking. Um, but yeah, you can uh, keep up keep up to date with us at Twitter. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. Raven, you I might like, not have to I edit anything on that. Raven, I actually like Happy Thousand. Happy Thousand. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Happy Thousand. Maybe that Happy. was something I was like out of touch with. I looked up and saw that. I was like, Happy Thousand. I was like, Happy Thousand. Thousand, what? thousand subscribers? What yeah, happened? Happy, yeah. <laughs> I almost just got very excited there for a second. Raven, Happy it's Thousand good. Day. <laughs> it's good to see you. How are you doing this fine evening? How are you? Are you staying mildly warm? It's been, it's me and my fat fingers. Oh, please stop. Stop. I blame I blame the phone or the computer or whatever you were typing on. I blame that. Is it above uh, ten degrees? Are you in double digits today? Are you actually in double digits? Ah, oh, that's crazy. Those are yeah. I have to probably do an order or something. It's seventeen right now. Let's go. It's practically oh my god. It's practically like Cancun there. Ted Cruz is going to visit very soon because oh going yeah, I heard about that. Topical. Mm. We've been. Uh, uh, or actually pocket has been when she's doing uh, league of legends has been gaming with somebody who's back in Arkansas. And he mm. was saying he hasn't been able to go to work the last few days because he's like, I thought he said 15, well, 15 inches isn't a lot, but he was, uh, they were having these horrible, <laughs> I'm going to get my bikini out, <laughs> these horrible snowstorms. And he hasn't even, you know, cause he was the other night, it may have been last night. We're starting a game and or she's starting a game and it's I think like eight thirty ish. And he's talking about putting on a pot of coffee 
and and he was having trouble with the coffee maker or whatever and we thought there was a two hour time difference but it was only one hour yeah it's but, just one hour but then she's like are you she's like are you sure she's like you're gonna or, you know something about having coffee and he's like well he's like I, I can't go to work right now so he's like i'm gonna be i'm basically i'm gonna be playing so i might as well have some coffee so uh, yeah, so the weather's just, it's crazy right now. Yeah, that's funny. One of the guys I actually play Destiny with is also in Arkansas, and he works at, a, oh. he's been working, he used to be in Texas, uh, and then like about a year ago, he moved to Arkansas. That's where his family is right now, and his brother goes to school in that area and stuff like that, so he wanted to move closer to family. Um, anyway, uh, I think he's right outside of Little Rock or something, but anyway, uh, he uh, he was saying the same, like they've had so much snow, they don't have snow plows, they don't know all that stuff, so his Starbucks is that he, that's where he works. He's a, I think he's a manager at one of them. And it was like going to be closed this whole week. Wow. And like, crazy. So yeah. That they were just like, cause of the snow and it was closed for like three or four days. And then they were get they were getting like hazard. They were getting like paid for it too. Like whatever hours you were scheduled that you were supposed to work, like they were getting oh, paid for it and all that kind nice. of stuff. Um, he didn't have to use vacation or whatever. Cause I forget what, what the term of that is. But, um, so he was, he was doing that. And I think at some point when we were playing, like, I think his, his man or someone else called cause they were trying to gauge, like if people actually did want to try and come in and it's like, Try and come in, but no one else is going out on the roads. Like, right. why are you trying to get people right. into your store? But anyway, just clean it. I guess yeah. clean the store. Probably shovel like, snow. Yeah, yeah. It's it's always it's always funny hearing. They had to call Mister Plow. Sales. Oh yeah, we got to minus thirty nine with wind chill on Monday night, Tuesday wow. morning. Have you been okay with with power and things though? Like I said, you read about so many things. It was like I follow a lot of people on Twitter that are in the Texas area, and they're talking about we haven't had power. Okay, now we have power for an hour, and then they turn it back off again, or we don't have power. We haven't had water. Like a lot of people have been going through is a lot of those nightmares. No, she's not. But I oh, just okay. didn't know if where she was at, if she was having similar issues. But yeah, I've like I said, just follow a lot of people on Twitter that have talked about horrible things. Of what's that aroma in there? It's just the just I'd say the classic, but. It's just that good malt vinegar, red wine vinegar, yeah. like, you know. I wonder if this would actually taste like in a vinaigrette. Like if you actually use this with some oil and things like that on something. Like it's especially the original because there's even more flavor in that. Nebraska is much more prepared uh, than poor Texas. I don't think we've had any rolling blackouts. Oh, that's good, too. That's what I was wondering about. Like I said, yeah, the rolling blackouts, because that was also what they were dealing with in Arkansas. Did your, I don't know if. And Pocket's friend mentioned that, but he was, as we were playing, it was on Tuesday night. He was part of our raid group that we were, right. when I was live, uh, and we were going, we finished the first one and he was, he was like, all right. He's like, well, he's like, yeah, let's, let's keep going. He's like, he's like, I'm being told that they're rolling blackouts, but they're not telling us when. And some friends of his are across town. Their power was out. So he's like, I'm not sure if it's going to Oh, happen. wow. He wound up making it through the rest of the, of the evening while we were gaming. So he, he made it, but it was like I said, it seemed like it was like, oh, Yeah, I'm gonna have to get one of those. We may, I don't know if we'll, maybe we'll just like open with it or something like that. I might get one of those Duchess chocolate cherry ones just to try that. That sounds interesting. <clears throat> yeah, Arkansas like literally has had no snow. Like they don't have, I mean, it'd be like here if we got like a ton of snow. We don't have snow plows. Like the city would just be shut down. Oh, yeah. What do you want to say about the taste? Good. No. <laughs> I just said Petite is perfect name. Uh, lighter, more carbonation. Yeah. Yeah, a little more carbonation, lighter. Like it doesn't feel like the the body doesn't have quite the viscosity, I would say, of like you know of the other one. And this, yeah, everything's just pulled back just a little bit, and you can tell that's you know. It doesn't say again. It just says several months for how long this one is aged. Oh, it does say it's a Flemish red. Okay. It's weird on there. It says Flanders red. Here it says Flemish. I think they Whoa. might be interchangeable. Are they? Yeah, I'm this one says Flemish. Sure. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it just says oak cast for many months. So they probably just go for a certain flavor profile and then call it. Whereas the actual original Duchess, which is twice as much, that one is like, I think a total of 18 months. Or it's like blends of six month, 18 and two years, something like that blended yeah. together. So that one's obviously a lot more preparation. And, and, and definitely you taste it, like where that yeah. flavor is. But, oh, yeah. But yeah, this is, that's, that's really good. Yeah, no, yeah. it's very good. You should, oh, wait. You we already, we already did that. Will you will give you that? Must. Should, that should be when we taste something amazing. You say must. You will give it a shot. You should. You must give it a shot. Yeah, that'll be the next if one. If you don't, oh, okay. Wow. Yes. Uh, do you have a uh, TFT moment? That's sure. Why not? It? Okay. Hold on. We didn't do it last week. I won't make it too long. Uh, 
Sometime if you've ever liked to experience snow, hopefully not crazy negative temperatures, I'd be happy to have you visit at least once Crow and I have a house. I, that would be great. I would. There's been a lot of people now I have uh, met that have been very wonderful uh, through the internet, and I think that would be very... We've joked about uh, having... Because, uh, I, like I said, I have people that I game with and play with all the way from the East Coast, like all the way across. And yep. we have joked about them starting a caravan and working through and picking everybody up. And we just finish in California and we hang up there and then work our way back. That's what like uh, I said that. Yeah. A best buds road trip. Exactly. Because we have to pick up Lucky in the in backyard because they do yeah. all the smoking and cooking and stuff because they could do that. And uh, like I said, yeah, yeah. Pocket talks about that too. She's like, I would, we, we should all meet somewhere. We should, mm -hmm. we'd host. And I mean, and we've actually had people come to the house and um, she was just talking with some people. I think they're in, where are they? They're somewhere in the Midwest Hoboken. as well. Um, but, uh, but no, she's it's people that, you know, from way back East to up over to Northern California. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cool concept actually to, to do that kind of stuff. It's amazing what, uh, and yeah, the, Nebraska is literally in the middle. Like yeah. I said, that's where she's at. Yeah. She's in Nebraska. Just not so. in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would like, I would like more snow. We went up to, like I said, uh, if you follow on Twitter, uh, we did go to Mount Lemon a few weeks ago and went up there and, and hung out and, and stuff like, and got to see some snow, but not actually like, oh, okay. I would like to see actually snow ing. Like, snowing have yes. not had that in a while usually it's already on the ground by the time we can actually get there like actually seeing it snowing and experience that or something i think that would be that couple's from nice. they're from oklahoma oh okay oklahoma oklahoma i should remember that oh, yeah, there you go Rupert, oklahoma, oklahoma. i'm sure every time it comes up that's said correct <laughs> we, we'll talk about that yeah oklahoma oklahoma uh, but yeah a road trip like that would be uh, would be super cool It'll be very, very neat. I love the road trips so that I can see more. Than, yeah, that, I, that's the only thing I remember from the couple trips we took when I was much, much younger. Like I said, when we actually drove back to Illinois, uh, was getting to experience going through all those states and stuff like, you know, everyone always like, oh, you didn't fly. And it's like, well, A, flying, especially back then, was very expensive. We were a family of five, so that wasn't probably going to happen. And then, like I said, you know, the drive, like I said, it was, it was nice that we always had the the time uh, afforded to take off yeah uh, like when it came to uh you know my dad's work and and uh, like and mom and everything else so that always worked out very well that we could drive back and i i, I like taking the road trips if you've got the time i'd rather do that like you you can't if you only have oh, yeah. a week to do <laughs> we're going we're going to new york we have a week well, we gotta fly you yeah know? it's not unless we only want one day in the city right um but oh well close that close that do you want to? It'll, um, do you want to we'll do on. it? I'm, I'll do it a quick. Wait, I'll make it a quick no. one. I'll make it a quick one. Yeah, don't, gotta don't, have don't, the music don't, kick don't, in. You gotta fight. do it. I took time to do this. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we gotta have. Well, we gotta have. It. Gotta get the full experience. Mm, the team fight tactics story of the week. No, no specific. Brought to you by story. Keith. Brought to you by Keith <laughs> and the Duchess and the Duchess Petite. Petite. <laughs> Petite. <laughs> Petite. I just, um, the Duchess Andy Pettit. I think last week why I didn't want to do this is because I had I had backslid a decent amount. Oh but, yeah, you did mention that last but, week. But uh, yeah, no, I've uh, had some luck with some builds and gotten. Uh, actually, I got at one point. I think the highest I've ever gotten. I've gotten into plat two for a little bit. What? I know. I know. Uh, currently residing in the lower echelon of of plat three. That's but, awesome. Uh, though. Yeah, still having. Uh, still okay. Having, Still having fun with it, but it's been more challenging. Uh, there have been definitely been some challenges and some, uh, you sure. know, certain things. But uh, but just having fun, experimenting with different builds, putting different things together, as I probably say every week. Some keyboards but, were thrown. Yeah, well, that would be, for me, it'd be the laptop. Then. Okay. <laughs> I'd just be throwing that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But, uh, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. <clears throat> so that's it. Just ha having a little bit more Plat success. Plat 2, though. That's very good. That was where I was at. No, when are they about to, like, are they about to do another flip of the I didn't know. They just had that. No, they just had one. Okay. Kind of, uh, probably about a month or so ago. So oh. that'll probably be this way okay. for a while. I wasn't sure if it was like but. the first of the year they did that. And it's like, oh, the end of March, they would do another one or something kind of thing. Yeah, I, uh, I can't, you know what's funny? I, so I've been doing this almost a year now. I okay. downloaded it. So it was Right, right around it was February 22nd. So I can't remember how many things I've been through in 12 months. Maybe five or five. So maybe this three months, every three months or okay. so. Who quarterly. Knows, but yes, quarterly. A quarterly adjustment. Yes. Quarterly adjustment. Quarterly. Okay. Okay. Well, you, you got anything else to say? The music's still going. That's it. No, you can. Anything else? Music. Can the music. It's still going. 
If you, if you got anything else, I don't have see. anything else. Uh, Join us. If, if you, you spend any, about, mon- if you spend if any you, money, yet. if you play, no. Okay. If you play TFT and you see about beverages, that's me. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Join me. That's my wife, <laughs> and that's me. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. We oh, made good. it. We did there it. we go. We did All it. Right. <laughs> Timed it out. I should have been like, yeah. Stretch it out. Stretch it out a little more. We got music still going. Stretch it out. <laughs> Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I was trying to think. There was something else. Oh, and uh, thankfully the Bears decided not to go for Carson Wentz. Thank oh, God. my God. It was so funny that today. I was actually happy I got in the car and I saw the thing on the screen and said Wentz to, to the Colts or whatever. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> so I work with a couple of Eagles fans. Um, oh. And <clears throat> one of them, and when he got in today, he's like, he's like, oh, my God. He's like, Carson Wentz was just traded. And I looked at him. And he's, and he's like, he went to the Colts for a second. And I just went like this. <sighs> and he, he, so then later he doubled back to me. And he's like, he's like, you seem relieved that he didn't go. To the-. I said, he might do well for the Coles reunited with Frank Reich, and I don't wish him to not do well. That's great. I hope that, yeah. that's a, that works out. But I said, to me, it just would have seemed like a Trubisky 2.0. Another grasping at straws. Another another grasp. And it's like, well, it sounds I, 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 like just the environment that he's leaving in the Eagles. Like, it sounds kind of weird Like he, that he was having some issues with them, and then he's also been kind of injury prone. Last, yeah. Like, every yeah. season, he's never made it through a full season. Right. And I kept hearing, like, I kept thinking, like, the Bears were having to throw out another first. And, like, so then at least that kind of turned out. To, so then when I heard that it was only, like, a second and a third, right. I was kind of like, well, maybe that would have been worth like also when I heard those numbers, I was like, because I kept thinking like, oh, my God, they're going to have to get another first round. And I was yeah. like, God, we just finally have a first round pick. Yeah. You know, not unfortunately, we're in a little bit later round, so we're probably not going to get one of those quarterbacks. But, you know, maybe we still have enough capital to just give it all to Deshaun Watson. Like how many first rounders <laughs> we have to give you? You take it, take it, take them all. I think the most I think I did hear something the other day that most you can give is three. Oh, OK. I didn't know there that. is like a limit. I don't. Maybe know. we can get JJ Watt and Deshaun Watson. Is a I saw JJ Packers. Watt. That's what I saw. <laughs> JJ Watt was going to the Packers, maybe or something. Oh, I didn't. They were like, oh, you know, people Wisconsin. Were, He's people were claiming, yeah, because people were claiming the good fit. Yeah, probably yeah. a lot of it was that. Yeah. You know, maybe we're still, maybe we're still in the uh, Aaron Rodgers sweepstakes. Who knows? Who knows? Would that be the? See, he's the kind of guy though. He would love to give that middle finger. Like oh, if it actually went well, he'd be after yeah. what they've kind of done to him the last couple of years. Yep. And that, oh my God, that coaching decision, like literally costing him the game. Like that guy is just like, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it could work. <laughs> you have literally one of the best quarterbacks in the game ever, and he's on your team, <laughs> and you don't go for it. And he, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was happy for him, but geez. Uh, all right. Should we go get a real... Actually, I'm going to need you to help me lift the next bottle. This is a big bottle of, of whiskey, of yeah. bourbon. Yeah. This yeah. is one I've been excited to do. Like I said, I'm glad that uh, we finally were able to bring this to the tasting table. Uh, this is a very special one, and it's very hard to find. Uh, normally very expensive, uh, but thankfully I did not have to pay that kind of expensive price. So this is, it turns it into a very reasonable, I'm practically using it as a mixer. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, I'm cleaning out my glassware. I with did. It. Yeah. I've, uh, actually my garbage disposal is kind of dirty. So I put some of that Pull in there. That. Yeah, yeah, I'll just throw some of that Weller down there. That's I've got right. to just pour the Weller in there. <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to go grab that beverage. We'll play a little more, uh, Harris Heller and, uh, we will be, whoops, put that up there. Whoops. Sorry. Wait, I got to find everything. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. We're good. Now we're good. Got it. Got, I got some, some Modelo. Some Modelo. Are you what doing Modelo? Little... There's a few kinds. Oh, that's there's true. There's a Special. There's the Negro Modelo. I assume Negro Modelo because I was already going to ask about a lime, but uh, that is uh, not always the, the especi- Especial. Ooh, the Especial. Which one's that one? Is that the it's lighter the one? one? Yeah, the lighter one. Okay. We carry that one at the store. My roommate had the typical one, <laughs> so you stole it from him. So you didn't actually have <laughs> My roommate had one, and I took it from him. I took it. <laughs> stole. <laughs> I stole it. Oh, man. Okay, so before we record, we're good. We got our sound back. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. We got our groove back. Yeah. Our mojo has... Our mojo, our mojo has, has risen. We're okay. I think everything. Right. Uh, we'll double check one more time here. Check, check with Pete again. Pete, you got some customers. Yeah, we're good. 
Make sure that it stays. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right, we're fine. Something was happening after hitting no, the stream date? No, it wasn't that. It was actually there was a... Uh, one of my other video buttons had defaulted to muting or unmuting the mixing board. Oh, interesting. From when I had to, when I went through the last week when I told you like I spent two hours finally figuring out how to get so we could actually hear. Oh those. yeah, yeah. I didn't go through and do that for all of them because I was like, oh, we don't hear all these all the time. Oh. Okay. So then when I had deleted different commands, it had then the default was to go to that. So okay. then I saw the button was activated. I was like, well, we need to turn it off, and I hit it, and then it was muting us. Okay. So there we go. So all then right. I just I just deleted that button. I was like, well, we that don't need. I'll fix, I'll fix it later. Okay. Not now. Get rid of it. I'll see a doctor to get rid of it. That's right. I finally finished up uh, season through season five of Cheers today. <laughs> You've never watched Cheers before? <laughs> oh, God. You, yeah. should, you really should. Yeah, I really should. Here, it's good. Yeah. Any more progress in Valhalla? No, it's, it's, it has been uh, all Destiny, unfortunately, other than that last stream when, uh, when you saw me. I have not. It has been Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. I'm hoping... I'm hoping within the next week or so I can start mixing in some Valhalla again because I miss it. I want to go back and play some more of that. It it is, but I want to go back and play that. And like I said, I just want to get a little bit to the mountaintop of the of the power grind, uh, and get a few things organized there. And then I think I can start kind of splitting my time between like doing a couple days of Destiny and a couple days of Valhalla because I I do miss that game. Having a hard time seeing game. Really interesting. Yeah, I've I am loving the new season. Like I said, I'm I, I know it's similar to previous seasons in what you're having to level up and, and do, but uh, the power grind for me is, is it's unnecessary. You don't have to do it unless you're going to do the Grandmaster Nightfall stuff, but uh, I'm wanting to get to that, and I, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I like a lot of the new weapons and the new gameplay stuff is cool. <clears throat> Always level up on one character that did raids on the alt. Yeah, I, I mean, I've... I've been enjoying doing all of those things this season. For some reason, this season has been revitalized. Like, and I, but I didn't play a lot of. I played as much as I needed to of last season to get everything done, and then I let that one really slide. So maybe it's just because I haven't played it as much lately. I've, you, you know, a game has its hooks in you, and you're like going to sleep. You're like, oh, I could play for another couple hours, maybe. <laughs> you kind of like <laughs> sitting there, and you're like, I should go back. I, wait, did I do everything? I could, wait, should I go back to that character? I could do this other thing. Like, I have so. that sometimes. I'm, I'm going over builds in my head. Yeah. Sometimes I, know, I wake up. I'm like. Oh my god! I was just—I just had TFT thoughts going through my head. Maybe that means I didn't. I'm not getting fully to sleep. Yeah, still I always. Tooling with the, oh yes, <laughs> that's it. I still am. Yeah, I still am. Plat three at plat three right now. Yes, plat three. Yes. Yeah, it's been it's fun. It's about yeah, almost a year. Hard to believe. Yeah, right. One <laughs> one game. <laughs> <laughs> one game. Yeah. I don't know if one game does a gamer make. Yeah. <laughs> but possibly. Who I knows? took on all of these. I said, Well, I have a strategy game open. You're like, I'll take that. <laughs> You're just like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, it has been it has been a good uh, I, I don't know. I've been I've been enjoying the grind and I'm looking forward to tomorrow to going back and, and doing other things. Um it's it's there's a lot of a lot of stuff you can do. A lot of stuff you can do in that game. It gets it gets busy. I got really good at Destiny and translated other games strange. Really? That's interesting. I mean, definitely you'd see... I, I mean, there are some tactics in that game, but it, a lot of that stuff is usually more about the, you know, the shooting and the combat and the movement and everything. I don't know how that translates. You think about games differently? I could see that. I could see that. You think about... I wish I could play other games. No, <laughs> I think about, I need to play. I other wish games. I had more time. Big wrinkle in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Actually Bungie, the company that makes uh, destiny, they are, had another project that they were silently working on, but now they're, I think they're expanding their entire team by doubling it over the next like year or two. And then they're bringing like out another staff? property, but yeah, by staff, wow. which I think they already had like, 500 employees or something like that and they're doubling it because they're doing two projects now or starting a wow. project yeah yeah the big up upgrade of bungie is sick excited for the new ip yeah it'd be interesting to see what it is i i wonder what they are going to do maybe that's where all their pvp team is i really want a season of health uh though for destiny i th they're still having their bug issues but i i think this season has been what destiny i think there's a lot of good healthy things in this season uh, that, are, that are really helping things out. But, uh, but yeah, overall, I have been enjoying it. All right. Cleaning up the, uh, the, the screen there. Getting rid of a few things. Getting rid of a few things. This season is really well done. Can't complain. Taking it easy. 
Record time? It is record time. It is, it is record time. We're going to record something. We've Stop. got a podcast we got to record. But yeah. Record time. I, I would agree. Yeah. It's, if you don't need to do the power grind, you can just easily take the season nice and slow. And there's wonderful, like I said, the story mission that they just introduced with the new exotic quests. I think that was really cool. I know you said you were maybe going to do that. I don't know if you got to it. I think that was neat. Um, I hope they don't do too many more of the random rolls, though, on the exotic weapons. I like the exotic weapon to just be what it is, but... A little unique, but I hope they don't do that too much more. But I think that gun is cool, uh, and I'm looking for. I like the Nightfall Farm stuff and a lot of things. I want to do Solo Flawless that and Harbinger Soonish. This would be a good week if you're going to do Harbinger Solo Flawless. I think. I think this is one of the easier weeks to do it. At the end, the boss is a little bit, a little bit easier. A little bit easier. All right, we're going to record a podcast. Uh, this is uh, going to be something that we will put up on YouTube, even though we put up this entire video now on YouTube. If you have missed any of our last shows uh, in the evenings on Thursday nights when we do our beverage podcasting, you can go there now and, uh, and find these entire shows. We do other beverages throughout that podcast or throughout the uh, live show. True. Talking which about we don't things. always podcast on. Right. So that's where you can find those things. Other conversation, not only about games, about uh, strategy things, uh, pop culture, like just all kinds. We just love yeah. sitting here and chatting with all of you, what you guys are having, what we're having. Yep. Uh, weather. We were talking about weather. That was big today. That's true. Weather was big. Yeah. Road trips at some point when we all can actually leave the house. Uh, and when we're allowed to do those sort, sorts of things. But uh, but yeah, lots all that kind of stuff you can find it now at, uh, at YouTube. But uh, this podcast still is going to remain there as well. We cut those out, do the little give it a shots. And uh, this is going to be another one of those. So that is uh, where you're going to start. Oh. <clears throat> I know we're talking about bringing the Collins cam back sometime. That's true. But it's a good thing we didn't for this one because I don't know if that... Would if the size of this bottle would <laughs> work with Phil's, uh, you know, with that album? I don't know. This might not work. I mean, we would have had to have done maybe. like some sort of fisheye lens wide angle yeah, shot or something. 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 Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, we have a very uh, special bottle of bourbon uh, that we're going to have today. It is a large bottle of bourbon, but still a, a very premium bottle of bur bourbon, even for its girth. Whoa. We'll explain all this on this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the W.L. Weller Special Reserve Weeded Bourbon. That is correct. This one uh, can be hard to find, like most Wellers are. That is one of those things where it has gained uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, mystery and excitement uh, over the last, I don't know, five, five years uh, in the bourbon community. Like I said, anything from Weller, they're uh, very similar. It pretty much is the twin, uh, at least the Weller 12 to the Pappy Van Winkle. If you've heard about that, how that's so hard to get. And, you know, you have a bottle of bourbon that should cost 60 or $70 and it goes for hundreds and, and, and thousands on the uh, outside market because there's right. so few are made and it's gotten so much of a, you know, a history built up and an excitement around it. Uh, this is kind of another one of those slightly lesser. This one, I think, is a little easier to find, but still very difficult. Uh, the Special Reserve, very similar to the previous Wellers. It is a weeded bourbon. Uh, it's from four to seven years that it's aged. There's no age statement on it specifically, but that's what we were able to find. It's in that four to seven year range. And uh, of course, it is part of the Buffalo Trace line of products. Falls so it is. Uh, yep. uh, you can find the link down below. Uh, if you want to read a little bit more about it and uh, and check out uh, some more information and all the stuff, obviously, Buffalo, I think Buffalo Trace does. It seems like a third of all the bourbon. It's like, oh, I like that one. Oh, that's a Buffalo Trace Buffalo product. Trace. Yeah, it's a very big umbrella. It is a large <laughs> umbrella. And speaking of large things, I actually probably oh, yes. have to have Keith help me we'll lift to, the bottle up. We've yeah. got it. We actually didn't want to set it on the table right away in case the table would break. Yeah, right. We might have to. <laughs> yeah. We have to catch it. I'm not give sure. Up too much of a, yeah. of a shine, of a glow. Yeah. Okay, Keith, you get the bottle. <laughs> how are we gonna how are we gonna pour this <laughs> oh. it's uh yeah. it's over <laughs> well this it's is funny. the glass we're putting it in yeah you happen to <laughs> find these you make a what weekly excursion i do i'm make... out of the way place <laughs> <laughs> yeah i make a weekly excursion to a uh to like I said a uh a large uh, store retailer uh, retailer that has a lot of uh different uh beverages and you would not think that they would have this there you would not think this would not be the kind of store where you would normally find these more higher end things, but they actually have tags for even the Weller 12. They have Blanton's. I have not seen those there yet, but I have heard talk that they have been. So I started uh, sometime in November of last year, literally about at least weekly, walking in there, basically making a quick lap and then walking out walking like if out. I didn't see. And finally, a few weeks ago, I was rewarded for all of my patience <laughs> and I walked in to 
four of these giant bottles of Miller <laughs> sitting on the shelf. Uh, I bought all so four. So there was only four? There was four. I okay, bought, I, I didn't know if you decided to stop at four or no, It's you had to because there was only four. No, I, yeah, I bought, okay. all, I bought all four. Uh, two of them were for me and then a couple other people that I knew, I texted them right away. I was like, did you want one? And they're, they're like, yes, please. yes. Um, so this bottle normally... Uh, this bottle I paid forty seven dollars for. Okay. It is a one point seven five, so that's literally over little over two bottles. Mm-hmm. So that breaks it down to about twenty five dollars a bottle. Less actually, like twenty four dollars a bottle for for Weller, which you're not gonna hear those numbers very often. Right. Uh, normally a regular seven fifty mil bottle goes for at least ninety. If you look right now and search for it. For this? A, no a, no smaller size bottle. But I mean really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So normally, so when I searched online, wow. like I said, which I knew it was up there usually a little bit, but on the second, because it hits the secondary market, this okay. is what you should, what I paid for this is what you should pay for. It. Okay. Around right. $30, like I said, per 750 mil, like I said, this one is a little bit better deal because of where I found it. Right. Uh, but that's what you should pay for it on that secondary market, at least like, and, and from normal retailers, like I said, I think it was like Flavia and like some other bourbon places, 90 was the cheapest I saw it for, for wow. the 750 mil. So then this bottle would be roughly a $200 bottle. Holy moly. That's what That's, I paid for all four. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. So, yeah. Well, then you're going to upcharge your finder's fee. I, yeah, we'll talk about no, that later in terms of the deal. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, anyway, I've, I'm very excited to try this. I uh, have been lucky enough to try some of those other things throughout the years. I do have a little bit left of a Weller 12 that I got in a package that I paid quite a bit for. Um, so, I have not done a side by side on that, but I don't oh. know if I have enough of that to do a side by side of. So, this is well, what we have today. You can't do it side by side when we're side by side. No, that's true. You'll have to no. do it side by side when you're alone. When there's no one at your side. <laughs> I can do this alone. <laughs> I often do. I often do. And you know what actually makes the Weller even better, Keith? The little pour? Oh, it's the little, little pour on here. It's like the comes on the top of the Thousand Island dressing. But also the glass. What do you think of that glass? Oh, I love, oh, I love the glass. Uh, it's a little trickier to see. Against the back, but these are our uh, Glen Cairn glasses with the laser etched About Beverage logo on it, which we have a link to at our uh, website, aboutbeverages.com. And uh, also, uh, if you follow us on Twitch, uh, it's the top one that always comes up. Uh, yeah. You can order these as many as you like. Um, the price is just what they charge. We just, we, Andrew just had them create this for us. So if for some reason you do want a Glen Cairn glass, and why wouldn't you? With the Bob yeah. Bridges logo on it, that's that's where you can go find that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can do that. And it ships directly from them. Like I said, we don't come into contact with them in any way. Right. So they're right from the factory. So the shipping is good. And even when you do, like we have ordered some. Yep. You did get one broken. I but they one were, broken. You didn't even have to send a picture. You nope. messaged them and they sent you one right away and it was fine. And yep. so, like I said, they good customer service. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, I've ordered, I've done a couple orders with them. I have not had an issue. But if you do have one, they'll take care of it. Yeah, so they did. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Right. Now I just have to glue that other one back together. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do you think in there? Kind of just nice honey, maybe a little, yeah. little red in there? Slight, yeah, slight Light bit of amber. red. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, just about your, I'd say, middle of the road color for a bourbon. Not, not dark, not light. Yeah. Just that nice yeah, yellow, red, uh, maybe a little, even a little bit of orange in there. Okay. So. These I usually need that extra. Yeah, that's fine. The extra sniff time. Now you've already had this though, right? You see where the bottle. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if I'd actually had it before I'd act, had opened this bottle. Okay. I don't know if I'd actually had any of this one. I've had the Weller Twelve. I've had the Antique One Hundred Seven, uh, which is from them, uh, and then they have they have a few other ones that I have have not had. Uh, the 12 is the one I have the most familiarity with. And the Weller 12, you know, this is not on the, like, this is all the behind the scenes stuff you get when you watch the full podcast, That's either right. live or uh, on YouTube. The Weller 12, literally, like I mentioned, is, uh, they call it the cousin. I don't even think it's a cousin, a twin, pretty much. Where is that? Uh, Oh, that's a review. Where did I? Oh, here it is. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, the Weller 12 and Pappy Van Winkle 12 year, 12 year are basically twins. The difference is in the aging of the barrels, which can be very slight if even noticeable yet, despite their amount of identical recipes and flavors. Weller is easier to find and about, see, and even the Weller 12 should be around 25 or $30. But that's hmm. not what you pay for. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
And then Pappy is usually around nine hundred dollars for something that should be like six. If you go to Pappy's website when they're actually when they're selling it initially, even though it doesn't make it to there, I think it's supposed to be sixty. And you, yeah, you'll never find it for that. I have to write some things down. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. I think so. I don't get anything that's overwhelming, but I get pieces of a few things. Okay. Um, I get some vanilla. I get I get a little. I don't know if it's this is going to be. We, we may flesh this out a little bit more. A little cotton candy, almost. Okay. A little cinnamon and a little caramel. Okay. I definitely get the caramel. I get a little vanilla. I'm getting, and we got this last week uh, in one of the podcasts we did when we did the Willet. I'm getting a little of that cherry kind of note in there again, too. There's a little bit of a fruit okay. uh, in there. like, And that could just be the high note of the caramel, like that sweet, you know, sometimes caramel right. even has a little, but I'm getting a little bit more than that. So that I think I'm getting that as well. Okay. But I, yeah, yeah, nothing, some nice little complexity, the little bit of cinnamon, but yeah, nothing. It's not like anything over the top. Like, you, oh, whoa. I'm getting this. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, oh, that's really good. That's yeah. solid. Like, that's solid. Yeah, I had to spend spend a little time and write a few oh, things yeah. down. But, oh yeah, uh, definitely. It's... And this bottle has been open for a little bit. <laughs> it may have been open that day when I brought it home. <laughs> All right, you ready for the taste? I would like to try this. Okay. Yes. That's some uh, quality uh, podcast, uh, quality entertainment right there. All that. I know. All, all the that silence. silence. Yeah. It's your, it's, your, it's your calm moment. That's right. It's your moment it's of your, zen. And, uh, if you're tasting along with us, because you have some Weller Special Reserve. Yes. That's, that's the uh, time to do it. The YouTube TV has these where they don't want to show commercials, I guess. Oh. When you have competing. Enjoy the zen. Yeah. We'll be right I back. Did, I did notice that. I think I was watching CNN or something like that. And that would, like, they'd initially sometimes show a commercial. Yeah. They show commercials. And then all of a sudden it would not be, and it would, it would yeah. say, it's still at a break. Yeah, yeah, well, there's that, of, but the, before they go to that, they'll usually have like, a, sometimes there's a winter snow scene. There's a scene like with this beautiful husky. Uh, there's one of like these uh, deer running across the field. Oh, wow. So yeah, enjoy this. And then it just goes to bing, like almost Harris Heller type music, but very mellow, subdued, lo-fi Harris Heller music. Okay. Low. All right, I think I've got enough to okay to discuss to at least be an active participant in the discussion. <laughs> I it's got um, there's a little bit of heat. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know what the ABV on it is. Uh, it's, it's ninety proof. Ninety, okay, a little bit, but it's it's not, but it's balanced in there well. You 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 know it's there, but it doesn't overwhelm you. Uh, it does that does hit the front of my tongue? The body, I think, is uh, surprisingly uh, my uh, smooth. Actually, it's it's not it's not heavy. It's not light. It's kind of right in the middle, which it seems like kind of what this offering is. It just seems like it kind of hit, maybe hits a sweet spot. Yeah, there's a little cinnamon. But it's kind of olive oil like, yeah, kind of yeah, like not that. Not quite that. Not quite that yes, viscous, but it's, it's it's in that area yeah. of where it's like it's not too heavy, but you know that there's something there. Yeah, it's got the cinnamon, but it's balanced out with a little bit of the sweet. It's um, so this is at least your second time around. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I would I would agree with that. Like I I'm getting everything that I got in the aroma. I'm I'm getting in the taste. Probably missing some of that cherry fruit. 
that I got in the aroma. This is more about the caramel, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, some spice. I think that heat plays nicely in amongst the spice. It kind of helps to kind of invigorate the tongue a little bit, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go crazy in any right, way right? because it is 90 proof. Uh, it, it shouldn't. <laughs> that would kind of be a mark of something gone wrong, I think, at that proof, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I think it's very good. It's very smooth. You can tell this is a bourbon that is is very well crafted and just because of the scarcity of it has gotten out of hand because i really like that i'm glad i was able to find some i would keep having this in my bar but in theory this bourbon should actually be something you shouldn't have a problem with mixing it either like right. it should be something you should be able to drink and if you wanted to make a really nice cocktail you would be okay using this yeah. because you should be able to find it and at normally priced of 25 to 30 dollars this blows away a lot of other bourbons at twenty five to thirty dollars right. is because of the smoothness and, and some of the balance in there. I think that's why it's moved up a notch. But you can tell why this one is usually a little easier to find. It's probably a little bit more in production, S still scarce, but it's you know, that four to seven year bourbon where it's not right. adding a lot to it. The Weller twelve then does make a big difference. Like that's one where it, it does go the extra mile. But I think it's very I think it's very good. And I yeah, I agree with what you said, but it's yeah, it's it's nothing where you're like Oh my God, I can't, right. it's, it's just like, wow, this is really good. This is really tasty. Right. I'm enjoying this and, and I'm, you know, I'm glad I have it and I would, and I would keep buying it. But yeah, the proper price for this is probably under 40 bucks. Like, you know, like I said, it's more in that 30 to 40 range, which in this case, other bourbons, which in this case I did. Yeah. Like yeah. I completely well, did well get it for that. that. Yeah. You know, it was under that. So like at this price, it's perfect at, would I pay $90 for this bottle? No. For a, uh, for a standard size bottle. Even for this bottle. For the 750 mil bottle. Yeah. 90 for this one, probably, uh, maybe. I don't know. Like yeah. I, because it, that's like, honestly, a smoking deal to get that <laughs> size bottle for that yeah. price, it, it felt like to me. Um, so, yeah, once you get up to those kind of prices, even the slightly above market or whatever, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't pay that for this because there's other things I could find that would be half that price and at least, uh, you know, in the ballpark. Yeah, I would, uh, I, I, I mean, once again, based on price, I would, this would be a good mixer. This would make a great Manhattan, I think. Uh, yeah, has definitely. All, uh, has the great, the yeah. great components for, for the, for a base in that. Um, probably even, uh, I mean, you could probably even julep this. Mm -hmm. Um, that yeah, would be all definitely. those things, but, um, yeah, this is kind of what your other drinks there. Aren't, there aren't too many drinks I know. So yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, whiskey I sour or something yeah. like that. Like yeah. if you were going yeah. with those kind of things, like, I, I think this brings, enough of those spices and things to the party that then are going to come through in a, in a, in a drink. And that's kind of what you look for. Mm -hmm. But then it also is going to add those other characters of the smoothness uh, and those other layers of the caramel and the, and the vanilla that you mentioned, those are all in there. And that's, what's going to make for a really great drink with this. The only problem is I will never use this as a mixer unless I find another four bottles of it because I would, because <laughs> in my head I'd be wasting it. Right. Cause if there's it, others you, that are readily available. Yes. At, at the right price. Right. That make a that make a good drink. Yeah, and this right. is the right price, but I know at some point I'm not going to find these again, and I'll be like, oh, I wish I had had more of that. Why did I use right. that? You know, for those kinds of things. So again, if this was yeah, the amount of volume that they normally should have that you should find it at, this would be great on so many levels. You'd be like, oh my right. god, this is a fan, and it still is. But once you hit those secondary markets, I think that's where this one loses its luster. Whereas, you know, the Weller Twelve, I would pay some higher price secondary markets because that one is still very good even at that you know, higher markup, but that one is a lot harder, even harder to find. Um, but yeah, we did it. Well, thank you for sharing. We did it well. You're you were welcome. in the right, the You're right welcome. place at the right time. I don't have much left. <laughs> I, I should have been like, um, I need, I need it back. <laughs> I need what you didn't finish back. Uh, but hopefully if you're in the right place at the right time, you can uh, think about going to our website at aboutbeverages.com. That is where you can find all of the podcasts, videos, stories, recipes that we have done over the last, uh, over a decade, over 12, almost 12 years, more, more than 12 years. More now. than 12. Are we in our 13th year? We are in our say? 13th year. That's right. We are in our 13th year. Uh, if you only want the latest videos, we got you covered there. Go to YouTube. You can hit the subscribe button. You will always get all the latest content, uh, not only the full-length podcasts that we do on Thursdays and videos, but you will get our little give it a shots that we break out of those if you only want the quick bite-sized uh, beverage reviews. If you only want audio, we got it. We got it. We got it. Don't worry. We're there. Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify. We've got you covered. If you have a podcast app that you like to use, search for About Beverages, and you will find us there. Anything else? Something else. The, well, three things else. The three, three things? The three pillars. Trace, the three pillars of social else? media. Absolutely. Is there else? How do you say else in Spanish? Trace else? 
Trace Elts. Trace Elts. Elts. I don't know what that means. Go on. Uh, we've got uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, uh, which is the one that we use most often, just like today when I uh, tweeted that we were about to go live on Twitch tv slash about beverages uh which is where what we do most thursday evenings um and when we record our uh well we like i said we interact for uh, a f- for a few hours yeah uh, with our viewers followers and uh record these podcasts and uh just hang out and talk about all kinds of fun things uh also on twitch is where you'll find andrew throughout the week letting you know what he's going to be doing what he's going to be drinking what games are going on um and that's that's the great way to to stay in touch with us and and we'll let you know what's going on. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. <clears throat> I didn't think I can lift this bottle. Oh. And we had Zaku join us. This is a big bottle of bourbon. This is the kind of bottle. This is, <laughs> this is, this is a Zaku bottle of bourbon right here. It's a large bottle of bourbon. There's a lot of, actually, there's some verbiage on the back that doesn't give you any more information that you were looking for. No. W. L. Weller was born in Kentucky. Oh, in the year eighteen twenty-five. After serving with the Louisville Brigade in the eighteen forties, Weller returned to Louisville wow. to open his wholesale liquor business. He is reported to have used the slogan "Honest Whiskey at an Honest Price." His weeded recipe bourbon had a softer, smoother taste that became very popular. Pappy Van Winkle eventually m- merged Weller's namesake company with the A. P. H. Stitzel Distillery. To form the Stitzel Weller Distillery. They should have thought of a better name from that. Stitzel. They should have thought of it. It was like Molen Springs from Seinfeld. They should have thought of a better name. Mm. (laughs) Yes, please. I think you could use this. It cauterizes you from sickness if you have bourbon like this. (laughs) That is a... In the bottle. Yeah. It was shocking to see that. I texted Jason, Jason and Joe the picture. They were like, they were like, how big is that bottle? <laughs> uh, yeah, 40. but you knew you had a good find when you found it. I did. Like, I knew it would. Be, I knew it would be fine. This is, what, you know, like I'm happy with what I got at, you know, at this price. Like, right. It, but that's what's crazy is the Weller 12, which you should be able to find also when I go to the place where I got this. They have that is actually in a case. This was not. This is literally on a shelf. I picked these up hmm. off a shelf. Um, but yeah, that is in a case, but that price is, I think it's, I think it's 47 for the seven fifty. Okay. So $50 and that's what it should be. Right. That's the price that right. it should be. And that, I mean, and especially at that price, like I, I can't believe that Weller at some point hasn't raised their prices a little bit. Cause it's like, holy crap. Hmm. Have you ever had Michter's? Yes. I think, I've, yeah, they've got a rye. They've got a couple that they've are fairly few, easy yeah, to find. No, then no. they've got some. Uh, really aged up because I remember being at Batch one time and the guy that owns that place, we were talking to him for a little bit and I think he had like a Michter's like a 15 or a 20 like year uh, that was kind of nuts. About 50 bucks. About 50. About fi- about three, <laughs> about three, about three, fitty. about three, fitty. about three, fitty. three, fifty. Three fifty. <laughs> I think I got about two fifty right here. I said, what do you want with me, monster? <laughs> I said, that was a goddamn Loch Ness monster. <laughs> And he said, she's a succubus. About 350. About 350. Yeah, it's a long pause. And about 50. 350. About 350. 350. That was before Chef was booted off the show. Yeah. <laughs> that episode's funny. I think I actually saw, did see that. Uh, that Chef episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they used old audio of his. Right, right. The episode. Yeah. And then he eventually like, falls off a bridge or something. Oh, yeah. The a bridge. The, yeah. Okay, so... I got my color notes. I got my taste or my aroma notes. I'm getting like, I, it was funny as I sipped and I got down to like more the last little bit, more of the cinnamon kind of came out or that kind of like nice little spice. Maybe even, I don't know, there's not quite, it's not quite nutmeg, but there's like a little something else in there besides just cinnamon. It's not just that blanket. Cotton candy was definitely a good call. Like that cotton candy vanilla, like there's like a lighter sweet and a higher sweet note in there. I would, I would agree. Okay. Huh. Although two of the Weller brothers fought in the Civil War on the side of the Confederacy, 
William and Charles stayed neutral. Why? To sell whiskey, of course. Both stayed behind in Louisville selling whiskey to both the Union and the Confederacy. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like Rhett Butler. <laughs> it kind of was a little bit. That's interesting. Customize your own Willer expression? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, the CYPB. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. So you can make your own? I don't know. Can you? Let's see. Huh. We're right here. Yeah, this is the one, the William LaRue. That's the one that's oh, really okay. hard to find. You find you find that one anywhere. You buy it immediately. 64%? Did that say? Yeah, it's uncut. Holy it's moly. uncut, unfiltered. Bigger, longer, uncut, and unfiltered? Yeah. And uh, there's the 12. I've got like this much of this one left, like from here that down. That almost looks like that. It uh, looks a lot like that label. It is. Most of theirs do look like that. Like I said, the okay. like I said, if you even look at there's the CYPB. I want to love you, CYPB. The long thing. Don't need some loving. Uh, Don't need some bourbon, CYPB. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the antique. This is the one uh, I've also had as well. The antique. So they all kind of look. That's yeah. just like the logo of it. That's this is the antique. This one's a higher proof. This one's 107, but it doesn't. Wow. It's, yeah, it's super, it's as smooth as this one though. Like, I don't think you notice much of a difference. Hmm. Yeah. The heat is here. The heat is here. Uh, but it's. <laughs> Glenn Fry is not. And it does warm you up. A yeah. Can you believe that's been like five years now? Yeah. God. I remember that was so fast. I remember that was, yeah, when I was obviously at Arbuckle when that was, Connie was still. <laughs> Man. Right. That's what. Because I asked her if that too, joke was right? good or not, and she didn't like it either. <laughs> the heat is off. The heat is off. Yeah. Uh -uh. Even though he said it too, <laughs> which I found out later. Even he, Glenn Fry. He said that? Yeah. Uh, Joe told us about that. He was on Dan Patrick. Okay. And Dan Patrick said something like they were doing some sort of name associate or word associate, and he said the heat is, and he said off. Oh, wow. Okay. So Glenn Fry even knew. Heat is. The H is O. Yeah, that's that's really good. Yeah, not very. Yeah, especially at, for the right price. Yes, for the appropriate that's, the appropriate price. That's hundred percent. Like if, and that was kind of why I wanted to talk. You know, have that conversation a little bit. I know it probably ran a little long, um, but but yeah, when you can find this at the proper price, that'd probably be almost like the one of the few like bourbons that I'd have around at that price all the time because I wouldn't right. need anything else. It'd be my quick sip, my daily sipper. It'd be my mixing bourbon. Like it would cover so many things as opposed to like and at that price one that we always discussed was was bullet yeah for that either bullet or yeah, bullet, so bullet or larceny or or jefferson like you know uh this or is, that that i old, like this more than the larceny the old west uh high rye one uh, i mean i like this more than bullet like bullets much harsher and a little had, thin. Bullets I, like a little harsher and a little thinner it's still good yeah, like I said, had it's that a good a mixer time. you know because it brings that kind of the table but right. but yeah like i said when you're talking 25 bucks for that like that just covers so many things right um, very yeah. versatile. Yeah, there wouldn't be a lot other. Th there wouldn't be a lot of other things in my in my bar. That I'm kind of like if, I would probably actually have less bourbons in my bar then, just because it would cover so many. Like between that, yeah. if you could have this and the twelve year, like if I could find those consistently, like I, yeah, there'd be yeah. a lot of other things I wouldn't. Other than to try them once initially, like I don't know. You know, these are just they're just very good. Yeah. But yeah, right now, like that, that slot is probably filled by like, if you ever find, you know, like Elijah Craig, like the small batch one that you can get for 25 to 30. I think that one's great uh, for that. That's a great mixer. That's a great, you know, it could even sip that one. I, I think, I think they do a really good job. I like the Elijah Craig stuff. You sent me uh, that article about Japanese whiskey. We actually yeah. got our Trader Joe's, the one that we did up for a podcast uh, that had been gone for a, a month or so at least. And then we, it became available again. So I reordered that. Oh, good. <clears throat> but the, I think the one that you're talking about is the one that we've been trying to order for. Isn't that the one, is that the one we saw at total wine? Possibly. And I so just saw that they had three of them. The top one, I think you mentioned, you're like, Oh, this is the one yeah, that I've been trying to get and I can't get it. To, yeah. Which I think is that total. But wine, yeah, Japanese but... whiskeys are taken off again. So if you want to mm -hmm. try them, try them now. If you're actually interested, uh, we've got a couple of podcasts. If you search up on YouTube for those, uh, we've done a couple different. We've done one that actually is a Trader Joe's one that we liked. Right. Um, and that had quite a few comments. Actually, that one blew up quite a bit. I haven't looked at that in a little bit. That one blew we, up. And then you also sent me a link to a, an article on wine, uh, some Trader Joe's wine. Yeah, I was just wanting to get your take we on that. We don't have all of those at the store. Yeah. Uh, we've got a few of them. I mean, if you wanted to 
try a couple of those. We could do that for a podcast if you wanted to. I could let you know the ones that we have. Um, and it's funny. Our, I was talking with our uh, wine order writer today, and he's like, he's like, yeah, this one's really been Oops. getting busier. He's like, this one, we've been selling more of this one. He's like, oh, I was wondering why. And so I don't know huh. if maybe people are going to these articles. We don't have all of the ones you were talking about, but did this one. Uh, yeah, almost 1,400 views. Wow. Yeah, so people really like the uh, give it a shot on the uh, my kuna, make a kuna. Yeah. Japanese whiskey. Oh, look at the, the fun graphics there. I know. But yeah, that one, that one did pretty, that one, that one was one of our best ones as of late. I, you just never know why things are going to like, maybe I don't know, we should just keep doing yeah. Japanese whiskeys apparently. Well, and the Duchess, 18 views. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, one. And like, I'm kind of surprised the Highland Park one didn't do like, that's only 26. Like you just never know what like weird thing is going to hit. What is the big? No. Oh, wow. Nah, no. <laughs> like that one. Wow. No, not again. No, Eve, no, not so much. Some of them. Uh, that had some views there. Trader Joe's it's Kentucky vodka. Straight Bourbon, 486. That one's not available right now. And I, that bottle. See, the Balvenie. That one did really well. 2,000 okay. views. That bottle that we used for that bourbon, I still have at the house. And I think it's the exact same level when I left. The, the straight bourbon whiskey, the Kentucky <laughs> yeah. straight bourbon. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I have not had any of that. Yeah, I think the local, like local beer stuff, probably does not see. Although that's modern times. Local beer probably does a little bit less because more people are like, I don't live there. Pizza port, yeah. Waterloo grape sparkling water, five hundred thirty. I do like the water. You know what? I really like the spin drifts. Actually, they are quite good. Yeah. The grapefruit spindrift, quite delicious. The lemon. We've been getting lately. We've been getting like a lot of either we do the bubbly lately. We've been getting that because it's been on sale. Yeah, the Michael Bublé. Uh, We've been getting that, or we've been getting the. um, I heard him on Dan Patrick before Christmas. Michael Bublé. Oh, okay. Because they were talking about the 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 tree lighting ceremony was going to be postponed, or no the. I don't know something was happening. They weren't going to be showing that, or they were going to be showing that, or some. Anyways, and they then they started. They, then they got into like holiday singers, and they started talking about Michael. Bu- and then it turns out he's like a huge sports fan. And, oh, and he uh, even I guess listens to their show. He was he, he was talking about his fantasy football teams. He was actually really cool. I really enjoyed. He seems it. Uh, yeah. I don't really he seems engaging. The, he uh, he's <laughs> talking about like he was talking about because uh, you know his name and being pronounced certain ways. And he was uh, he's I forget, one country he says calls him boobs. <laughs> Michael Bublé calls it, but it was yeah that was that was really funny. <clears throat> I enjoyed enjoyed listening to that. That's to me is hmm, that style of music seems to be one of the easier ones to do. To be the, a uh, to be a medium baritone crooner. <laughs> just like you know, it's like you just happen to be like you right place well, at Frank the right Sinatra time. Well, Frank Sinatra sort of established that bar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then you've got like Harry Connick Jr. I mean, they're talented people. Yeah, but yeah, especially yeah, Harry, Harry Connick Jr. Jr. Like yeah. piano player and like everything. Right. Like you're throwing in all right. those things. I don't have. Does Harry? I mean, Bublé probably plays an instrument, right? I don't. Know Let me know in the know. comments. He must play an instrument. Yeah, he, if he doesn't, he, somewhere along the line, if he doesn't, he, then he is fitting my description. He plays properly. the guitar or something. Okay, he's he got would, to. He would think. Yeah, <laughs> got to. He plays the, the skin. ukulele. Me. Yeah. <laughs> he's a master of the skin. The drums. Flute. He's a drummer. Wait, what? No. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's not the instrument you're talking about. <laughs> no, that's not the instrument. He's he's, he's like uh, just Jethro, Jethro Tull. Looking for. He's like Jethro Tull. He's <laughs> the fanciful flautist. Oh man. So yeah, so we can, well, we talked about maybe doing a St. Patrick's Day theme yeah. podcast. We talked about that. We could do a couple of uh, Irish beers and maybe make a black and tan or even do, I don't, I don't think I have any Irish whiskey. If we, house. yeah, if we, if we kept that one, if we mentally like kept that one like tight, we could literally like, we're going to try this one, try this one and now do the black and tan right. and see what it like, you know, kind of make sh- like not really get too deep into the weeds on the taste of those, right. like two different things. It's kind of like go taste and like, what do you think this, you know, and just really yeah. make sure I can it's edit that. Yeah. yeah. If we can make sure we can edit that pretty quick. Like, yeah. I, I think that would be interesting. Like, you know, cause a lot of people probably look for instructional videos on how to make a black and tan or what you can do or yeah. something like that. So that might be, I think that would be interesting and we probably, yeah, we would want to do that next week because then in theory 
that's you know even if we jumped and turned things around it wouldn't get up till that'd be almost the first week of march it'd be like the first week of march right, right. then so like that would at least give it a couple weeks for for that and then you know that stuff all that stuff always has a long tail the beverage industry has a long tail when well, it comes to videos grab, so i'll grab a couple of those irish grab a harp then. and a guinness or something yeah and do you usually a, use the you probably use the actual guinness like extra stout right isn't it the foreign extra stout one we just have the draft in cans i don't know if you is I that what you I use would, for that i think that's what you want because that's what gives the the nitrogen gives that that appearance of the black and tan then so that it settles on the top right because that's the guinness is what you pour use the spoon and you pour on the top you do but isn't it i think it's do you want yeah. the nitro one to be there is that really what you use it's, i haven't done one in so long i believe that's what you want that's what you really, really want. I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. How to make a black and tan. We're going to look at someone else's there. This says Guinness Stout. <laughs> wow, that Float could not Guinness. be a more generic yeah, no, it's a, it is the It is the, that. Uh, oh, Bass. That's right. They used to use they used Bass. bass. I do yeah. remember that. Yeah. But old Bass. Oh, you're right. Guinness Draft Stout. Okay. Yeah, I guess the nitrogen helps a... keep it separated that way probably better. Yeah. You, it's still, do, lighter... you still do the slow pour anyway, right, but yeah, right. that makes sense. Yep. <laughs> so we put in black and tan and like the fourth question down is what can I mix with Guinness? <laughs> Someone's <laughs> desperate. Someone is very desperate. Yes. <laughs> there, okay. Yeah. Pocket's still out there listening. Yay. She's like, huh. <laughs> but tell me what you want. Five what Guinness you really, cocktails really you can make in minutes. All right. So we could do that. There are some people who take, I think, Guinness with like um, ciders too. Well. Yeah, I forget. There's like what snake bite, and there's like they have like, like names, yeah. like, like for those. I remember uh, Charlie that I used to work with used to like those all the time. Those were always good. We've got. I uh, also have an imperial. Were any of those wines cider. something that jumped out to you that like, oh yeah, I'm glad that one's included because it was, um, wasn't it wines like in a certain price point? Or, uh, yeah, I think it was around ten dollars. So the okay. three of them that we have, we have the the it's it's, it's called the Trenta Tray or thirty three because it's a third, a third, a third, basically of three different uh, wines. Oh, three different. That's grapes, one. Yeah, that used to be a, that used to, even used to be an Ethan favorite. And, oh, and that's that one uh, has always that's been a good seller. So uh, the Gambler's Flash. Um, uh, I work with a guy who's actually a big poker player and I asked him today, I said, have you ever had that one? He's like, you'd think I would have, <laughs> but he's like, I yeah. haven't. You'd so then that. that, the Oxty, uh, the, the Spanish one, the silence, uh -huh. that red blend, that kind of intrigues me. So I, I do have interest in, in, in trying uh, a couple of those. If you, if you want to, I mean, maybe if there's if one of those, you, if there's one of those you want to try or something so, like that, we could just, okay. you know, with the amount of, beer there between those like that can almost be like the opener too of the the beer like just do the beers and then have the wine at the end kind of thing like because yeah, we could you, you know try it because we have to try those two and then try the other yeah thing. we don't have to try it next week we could try it the week after we could do if you wanted to try a couple of them or you know try yeah however however you want to do it but so next week it sounds like we want to yeah i think maybe do a little saint patrick's definitely day at, least, at least do that some sort of in saint preparation patrick's day for thing. that even though it'll be obviously well before that we have but that's think. kind of what we're actually timing out those things yeah, properly for a change. Yeah. It's the first so. thing we've timed out. I might go, like, I might, I don't know if I'll go to Total Wine. Like I said, I'll definitely hit Tap and Bottle this weekend. So maybe I'll, um, I don't know. I don't, see, this is something I don't know much about. I don't know a lot about Irish whiskey. Maybe I'll put that out to Twitter and see if people have uh, well, we've certain had the, ones that they. Well, we've had the Jameson, certain, the, the right. IPA right. cask one. Right. They have a stout, yeah. they have a coffee, or they have a coffee one of that, and they have yeah. a, like a stout one of that too. But it, I, like everyone has Jameson, I'd want I'd want something else. Try like, something else. I All don't right. want Jameson. Like I'd want something else. Okay. So I'd either want someone. Like I said, I'll put out something to Twitter and see if anyone responds with uh, maybe something that's better to find. It was okay. funny though. I was listening to a gaming podcast and they were asking someone they had on there was he actually is from uh, Ireland and he's been uh, working with with them for a little bit. And someone wrote in an email and was asking some different like Irish, you know, Irish questions like, Oh, do you miss this? Not being Irish? Do you miss this? And then someone asked him about Irish whiskey. And he said, he said, actually, it's like, I've always enjoyed much more. Uh, he's like either Scotch or bourbon than Irish whiskey. He's like, I've never been much of an Irish, Irish whiskey drinker, which is probably blasphemous. But yeah, that's kind of how I, that's just always been the lighter, fruitier, uh, kind of thing. But yeah. I, I would like to, you know, change around. Maybe there's a really good one. I mean, Jameson is fine, but it's not like anything I reach for. 
Right. And I still I still have that one that we reviewed, the IPA version. Oh, one. wow. Okay. It's still sitting on the bar somewhere, like in that giant bottle. But, uh, but yeah. All right. Well, we've got a All little right. bit of a game plan for next week. Right. So we will be here once again, same time as this week, a little bit earlier yes. again? Or yep. Okay. Yep. So we'll be here at the same time again uh, next week, that 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern. Uh, we will get, to, like I said, we will get our St. Patrick's Day fun on. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's great. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for good coming to have out. Everybody. Yeah. yeah, good to have you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Definitely uh, subscribe on YouTube if you're not there yet. I don't know if I have all my shameless plug buttons. There it is right there. Hit Twitter, hit YouTube, Instagram, obviously Spotify. If you have a favorite Irish, wi- Irish whiskey, let us know. That's yeah. tough to say. It is very, it's so difficult to say. <laughs> So, so difficult. All right. We will be back again. And actually, you know, I should look. Is there anybody? Hold on. Oh, you're going to raise. I should have looked. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I'm bad right, at this. Check tonight. it out. I always am on podcast night because I'm thinking of other things. Also, I'm like, oh, well, I got a lot to think about. See if there's. So you are the talent here. and the producer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, most would say you are the talent. I'm no. barely the background producer. No. That is what I hear from most. But all right. Let's see. Is, is, is Backyard still on? Can we go say hi to Backyard? Okay. It looks like Backyard's still on. Let's go say hi to Backyard. Let's go do that. Let's go raid Backyard. Go say hi to him. He's playing some Destiny. So something completely different than what we're actually doing right now, but something I will be doing tomorrow at around uh, 9.30 Pacific, uh, 12.30 Eastern. I will be playing some more Destiny. So definitely go say hi to him and uh, have a good rest of your evening. Stay hydrated. Right, everybody. Thank you again. We will see you next week. See him tomorrow. Do something fun for yourself. Be happy. 